Sounds like nonsense. Nonsense. Sounds like nonsense. Now that sounds like nonsense. That sounds like nonsense. Sounds, sounds like, like nonsense. nonsense. You know what to that me? sounds like? Sounds, sounds like, like nonsense. nonsense. That sounds like sounds nonsense. Like nonsense. Sounds like nonsense. Is this what it's gonna sound sounds like? Sounds like nonsense. Sounds like nonsense. Sounds like nonsense. Sounds like nonsense. It's nonsense. And it sounds like this. Yo, who's seen Cobra Kai? Talk to me. Come oh. on, son. You know I have. Yeah. Oh, I love and? it. I fucking love it. It was a good one. I, I, yeah. No, I got YouTube Red just to watch it. Yeah. And then we got rid of YouTube Red. Yeah, but then there's a second season, yeah? Yeah, I haven't seen the second season. Mm. So, oh, Netflix. I know. I heard it came out on it. It's Ooh. it's on the list, dude. That's happening. Never Did heard of it. Did not know that. You, well, you know Cobra Kai. Sweep the leg. Come on, Johnny. <laughs> fucking Karate Kid. Oh. So Karate Kid, Jeff, you you do the best explanations on this. T- give him a quick synopsis. Um, I think it was just fans wrote some new episodes. What is it? 18 years later? Yeah. So oh, it's like brought Karate everybody kid. back. Yeah, it's the Karate Kid, but it's right. 18 oh. years yeah. later. Oh, okay. And they're just pieces of shit. Oh. You know, Daniel Sun sells cars. And oh, yeah, yeah. Like, like the like town hero, the old quote unquote oh, no. bully. No. Am I it's wrong? It's all about the redemption stories. Well, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway. Okay, I'll take a look at Dude. it. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I teared up. Aww, oh, my God. Well, right. welcome yeah. to Sounds Like Nonsense, everyone. I'm your host, Jeb. This is Mr. Will Ridge Hello. on the number two. Hello, everybody. Yeah. And my beautiful wife, Courtney, is sitting next to me on the couch. Hello. Or on the couch. Next to that couch is where she's sitting today. Yeah, we have guests. And Jeff is hanging out with us all the way from Rally. Hello, Happy Jeff. Happy Sunday. Yeah. And each week what we're going to do is we're going to feature bands and artists you may have never heard of. So who's ready for some new fucking music? I am. All right. Who do we have this week? So this week we have the Debros with their song Abominable. I almost felt like I was going to say that wrong. I can't say it right. And then uh, we also have Bigfoot Attack, Down Days, and then the Real McKenzie Bigfoot Steps. So if you Fuck, haven't yeah. noticed, this is our Bigfoot episode. That's right. We should have done more Bigfoot Probably research. Probably part of the title. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. It well, might be. I think it might just be the Bigfoot episode. Maybe. I yeah, I don't know. I'm, I've been looking forward to this one for a while. He's even wearing... A t-shirt with Bigfoot. Yeah. He's got his tattoo all shaved up and all glistening. <laughs> it's looking good. I did think about lotioning my tattoo before Which is a Bigfoot. In, but I didn't do that. Yeah, well. Um, you should do yeah. a lotion during the show. <laughs> it's lovely. <laughs> my OnlyFans page. Um, if you go to OnlyFans.com backslash sounds like nonsense. Nothing happens. Thank you, Courtney. I don't even Nothing know what happens. that is. Don't you have a Only foot fans? site, Jeb? What? Don't you have a foot site? I don't. No. But okay. I would get one if you... if. You know, if the people want it, I'll give it. You can give me 10 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how was your week, Mr. Jeff? No complaints. Um, oh, I think I talked about the pregnant freshwater crawfish at one point. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. So out of the 74 to 76% that, sur- that didn't survive or that were birthed, <laughs> one made it. Whoa. Whoa. And? Say hello to Mookie. Oh. Mookie? Mookie the crab. Nice. No, I mean, uh, I just got a new tank. Crawfish. Wow. I can't give it up. Oh. So I had to get a second tank. Okay. That's how my week went. Wow. What's up with y'all? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I went, um, I went disc golfing for the first time in a long time. Wow. Good for you. And uh, Jeff, guess what I saw? So uh, actually, let me preface it by this. There was a fucking uh, interview or article rather in the independent saying, what is this? Is it a bobcat? Is it? A mountain lion, Bigfoot? Shut I up. swear to God, this was his last week. Things seen at Kachuma Lake. So I went to Kachuma Lake on Friday, right around, I guess it was like 1130. You're going to say you saw a Bigfoot. Okay, cool. Go, go, guess go. what I saw? Bigfoot. I did see something. Something awesome. Something I've never seen at well in Santa Barbara at all, but Kachuma Lake either. Well, I already know, so I'm not going to guess. I'm asking Jeff because he's the only one that doesn't. Bald Eagles fucking. Oh, oh that's really close. Uh, it was a bear. I saw oh, a bear at Kachuma. It was a baby bear, right? It was not a baby bear. It was a full-size black bear. Still uh-huh. pretty small. I mean, What was this bear fucking? He wasn't fucking anything, but this guy oh, almost got okay. fucked up. Okay, my bad. Some jackass is on the side of the road with his Tesla right right on the this blind turn because he was actually on the pass. The bear was on the pass. Which is a road. Ooh. Which is, yeah, a, a sketchy, sketchy road, road. A really sketchy road. And he's parked on the side with his Tesla, but he's out of his Tesla. Hey, bear. Hey, bear. Oh, uh, boy. Dude. Yeah, like he's directing the bear. Get on the road, bear. 
Oh, uh, and he thought he was doing really just to be safe. So we did roll down the window and try to get some film. Um, and it didn't work out, but the guy was like, like, yeah, like he was Dudley do right. And I just gave him a big thumbs down. Cause you know, that's how I do it. Yeah. <laughs> I was all, Get out of the road. You fucking kook. Like yeah. Jesus Christ. That's, that's no good. But that's the second bear I've ever seen just imagine, a few weeks imagine, ago at Shasta. And then this, but imagine dying for a bear. I'm going to you know, get out of the car. I'm going to say, it's, it's not just him. Not that he got eaten. I meant that imagine was getting hit by a, by a bear. That was him being hit by a car, you know? Right, yeah. I mean, it's a sketchy road. You don't get out on the fuck. Not there, either. No. And then to make it more dangerous, there's a bear. Like, what a fucking moron. Yeah, right. Well, he looked yeah, at me like, yeah, yeah I'm doing it. That's to turn him into the next meal. It's ass first. <laughs> that's how those fucking animals do it. Courtney, they eat yeah, them from the asshole game. out. Oh, yeah. Okay. You don't believe me? No, I That's I, science. I, do, okay. I wonder if a Bigfoot does the same thing. Oh, my mercy. Yeah. I heard. I, whoa. Yeah, Jesus. it's very loud. Did I do something weird there? I I'm don't touching know. it. You're so excited about yeah. talking about That's Bigfoot. so much Bigfoot. <laughs> okay. This I, is a lot of Bigfoot stuff. I did in. see an article of a I lady kids, saying that she saw a Bigfoot catch a deer on her ranch and it just grabbed it by the back legs and broke the back legs and then ate it, asshole, first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. She was serious too, dude. I don't know if I believed her, but I did see it. It's the quickest way to the sweet meats. Yeah. And then you had a crazy um uh I guess wildlife experience this week too. Do you uh, remember? You sent me a video. Oh yeah. At your house. Wow, it's very interesting. Uh I guess if you we've heard of murder hornet murder hornets. Yep. This was not them. It was a tarantula hawk. But it was a tarantula hawk. And, and what was, was happening? It Ooh. was literally uh, running away with the tarantula. It was running away with the fucking tarantula. Wait, and I saw a different. I It looked to me like the tarantula had it. And no. I was like, the tarantula got a tarantula hawk? No, no, opposite. Oh, Tarantula gnarly. hawk, I think what they do is they impregnate them. Mm-hmm. And then the tarantula, wait, excuse me. The tarantula hawk puts their larva inside the head of a tarantula. And then they eventually eat the tarantula by being burned. Describe out of a tarantula hawk. Oh, it's scary looking. One landed on me um, at Kajuma. Uh, I broke its fucking legs off with a ninja chop. But um, ninja? How big are these? Uh, I was thinking a, bird first. No, no. It's like two inches, probably. Like a, a big ass hornet is what it looks like, but with bright orange wings. Yes. They're fucking scary, dude. They are monster, and they were. Big. I mean, it was. It was definitely taking. You're gonna have to share the video with the group. And they take on full size tarantulas. Yeah, they lay eggs in it. Is what I thought. Yeah. And then Ooh. the eggs hatch and kill yeah. the tarantula. Sorry, sorry for cutting you off. We'll go. No, That's no. what he was saying. They, no, they put no. the eggs in them. No, 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 no. In fact, right now. Finally, we're getting to some fucking. Yeah. What's taking so long? I know somebody's <laughs> horny. Let me tell you that. <laughs> yeah. So that's Big what I saw. Episode. You seem built up. <laughs> like... Bigfoot episode. <laughs> <laughs> you're bumping things you're boned up hey i'm just trying to get with the party yeah well, mm. i'm just drinking water okay <laughs> well so far we gotta change that um and i had a friend this week <clears throat> his kid chopped his finger off mm. off 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 with a middle finger seven-year-old <gasps> with, with a um nine-year-old a, a push cart that was like a dolly? a dolly you know the collapsible dolly and he was fucking around oh, on it no. and he's like how many times i told you not to sit so he just sat on it and it just closed and oh and yep. I know who you're talking about, too. Yeah. That's a bummer. You got to sew it back on. He's going to make a full recovery. But, dude, being nine years old That's and having your story, then. Well, wait, you said seven or nine? I think it's nine. Okay. I, I was trying to correct myself. Uh, okay. So, yeah, that was pretty. Badass. Yeah. What That's... about you? What about you, Courtney? Uh, so, I mean, I just worked. But uh, this week I was really just um, watching a lot of the Martin Luther King 57th anniversary march. Um, listening to a lot of leaders and activists, um, and then, you know, everything that happened in Kenosha, just listening and and learning about what's going on there. Um, And then, so sad, the Black Panther um, actor died this week. So just a lot of really heavy things and just really trying to listen and figure out how I can be a part and helpful. You look like you're going to cry again. I am not. Stop acting like that. (laughs) He also played Jackie Robinson. Yes, 42. Uh, James Brown, right? He played so many good roles. James Brown movie was good. And it was from cancer, huh? Yeah, he had cancer for four years. And and did all, like, most of his bigger roles in, well, I don't know most of them, but, like, some of the bigger roles while he was, like, not in secret. He wasn't doing it in secret, but he, he did a lot of stuff while he had cancer. Yeah, mm-hmm. totally. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, yeah. So forty-three. I have um, I have some other things to ask. Uh, UFC was last night. Did you watch that, Jeff? Chadwick Boseman. Chadwick Boseman. Yeah. Yep. Who we were speaking of? Yes. Yeah. 
Did you uh, did you catch UFC last night? I know you watch them all. I did. Is was that a free one? Yeah. God well, damn it! No, there was prelims that were free, and then it switched to ESPN Plus. Oh uh, well, we have ESPN Plus. I don't know how it works because we do rent a fight, so you have to have ESPN Plus to even rent right. a fight, right? Right. So then we would have been able to watch that last night for free oh, yeah. without paying the sixty or whatever. This yeah. is Look bullshit. How do you tell when which ones are which? It never. It doesn't tell you. It's confusing. Uh, I'll just tip you off. That would be nice, man. Cause I would have yeah. totally watched that last night cause I saw it and I was like, I don't want to pay 60 bucks that they're kind of no lesser named, but I still would have watched, you know? Yeah. What? It wasn't great. No. Still fun. Always a fan. Everybody's going for it. There was a couple of really good ones, but there a couple of them were just a little slow. Yeah. I'm digging it. But now that you can hear the, the coaching, it's so fucking different. It's gnarly. And you, you can't know. just hear the raw thud of meat. Yeah. yeah, too. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's a little lackluster when a uh, homie, what's his fucking name, does a fighting and nothing. There's no cheering. Oh, Buffer? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, Bruce but Buffer. Yeah. I wonder if it really pumps the people up there, like the fighters, like because oh, it is such to. a such a I don't know, something that it's, like everyone knows. Yeah. You know, it's iconic. at this it, point. it is iconic. And just I bet it's one of the things that they dream of, like hearing that in person. Jeff, take a look at that one. Oh, yeah, you just sent the movie. Will? Jeff, take a look at what I just sent you. That that That's will give you an idea of what... Tarantula Hawk thing. I will post it. And in the meantime, I, I've, got, I've got a couple more stories. Let's hear it. So I oh, saw... Shit. Yeah, isn't that crazy? That fucking bug dragging a tarantula. Um, oh. So the Coast Guard, yeah. they were taking a oh, break. Yeah, Did you fantastic. see this? I saw this. This so is fantastic. Coast Guard's taking a break, and they decided to go for a swim with a blow-up unicorn You're right, right. thing, you know? Okay. Like, you, you've seen those rafts. Like, people are using pools. But the Coast Guard, they're just trying to blow off some steam, go for a swim. Right. Uh, here comes some fucking sharks coming at them. What? What does the Coast Guard do that's on the boat? Shoots the fucking sharks. Yeah. <laughs> what? Just, yeah. While the Andrew other people Graham. are swimming. Yeah. Pretty good fucking water. early. Water. Yeah. What kind of shark was it? They said a large thresher, maybe Mako. But Come on. They shot a thresher Well, that's what shark? I saw. They were like large thresher, and I was like. Mm. I mean, a Mako? Eh. A Mako, for sure. It so. yeah. did look too big. But they were shooting very close to the people. Did you see? Yeah, dude. I was like, whoa, because they have photos of it. Yeah. Wait. Okay. I see a fin. I don't wait for the thing to show me ID. Right. No? Exactly. I just grab it by I the face and put it to sleep. I saw that one, done once in the Bahamas. Oh, yeah. you're, you're going to, in the middle of the fucking ocean, put down a What sleep. else are you going to do? I'm just going to put him to sleep. Pa. You just you just going to put him to sleep. If you just block the little receptors on their cheeks, their little freckles, pop. You they go right to are sleep. so insane. So here yeah, comes but this... how do you find that on a yeah. great white or something like oh, that? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. You just die. I bite it first. Oh, you go, you go cheat okay. first? I thought you would yeah. go ass first. <laughs> just, well, I'm just saying, hey, well, present. if I can get around it, yeah, it's going to know I'm there. So no joke. <laughs> Either I, like, I or ass, that's how I go. <laughs> when I have nightmares, I have nightmares about sharks. You, and I had one last night. Yeah. It was the weirdest <laughs> thing. But like, not like regular sharks, like thresher sharks. Come on. Yeah. I'm talking Mako's yeah. is on the list. Not like pottery. Tiger, yeah, yeah tiger well, sharks because they're gnarly and great whites. Those are those are the. How do you feel ones. about hammerheads? Oh, they're kind of gnarly too. The the um, scalloped yeah. ones. Yeah, but what are the most? They're aggressive. What's they're the, what's they're the most aggressive. deadliest yeah, one? Uh, great white. No, yeah. it's not. It's a bull shark. The bull sharks are oh, fucking violent. They have more. Sharks. They have more testosterone than any animal on planet. Really? And they Aren't... can swim up brackish water, meaning all the way up yeah. to the Mississippi. Oh, yeah. and Ooh, sure. Then they're for on sure. the list, too. But I, thought, the most, yeah. I thought those were the tiger sharks. Cause I thought the ones that like ate like license plates and just freaking anything. I thought that was a tiger shark, but maybe it's a bull shark. Yeah, yeah bull shark is a gnarly one. Okay. Bull sharks will strike in yeah. like two feet of water and bite you so bad you bleed Ooh. out. They're, they're, not, they're the most dangerous ones. That's my biggest fear, probably. What's the biggest shark? Great white? No. No, it's no? a whale shark. Uh, yeah, whale, whale shark. shark. Yeah. yeah. But people swim with those all the yeah. time. I would go Australia. They get the big, um, uh, I was going to say herd, but it's not herd. <laughs> herd of I'd hammerheads. I'd fuck a whale shark, just for the record. What was that? You'd fuck I'd one? I'd fuck one. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> we are on them. I know. <laughs> we are just. I'm having a hard time hearing you, though, Jeff. And I just turned you up again. I don't know. It's got a weird. I'm not. Okay. Like it, but uh, yeah, well, there's that uh, show fucking cake. now. it's not called fucking cake. It's just called cake. Yeah. And uh, one whole season is about the, they, these people have con- conquered all the extreme sports, mountain biking, surfing, blah, 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 whatever. I said mountain biking is an extreme sport. Um, but you also, it, it, you also disc golf too. So. Falls into that category. So, um, well, like, you know, they're like skydiving. They're, they're, the, they're the top of the top. Uh, so they're like, we're all topped out. They're Australian guys. 
there's only one thing left. We gotta fuck a shark. <laughs> so the whole season is about fucking sharks. Really? Okay. It's so silly, dude. It's, you mean fuck with sharks? Or no, well, I don't, fucking I don't think a shark. This is silly. It's really fucking funny, man. They do it like as a documentary kind of thing, and they have like a scientist and the crew, and they're like, I don't know. And the one guy, I don't want to blow up for you, but he does jizz in a shark, and that was where he was shamed. He was like, I. <laughs> It's I pretty did. badass what you're talking about. It's awesome, dude. Uh, I fucking I the way awesome. she belly laughs at IFB, I belly laugh at that shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I just I can they get oh, so or serious. the or the ant movie that you watched last night. Oh that was yeah, so dude. Stupid. That was so great. One of the best movies I've seen all year. It's called Dead Ant. It's a few years old now. Uh, um for, <laughs> it's so bad. Uh what's his name? Fucking Roxanne's ex husband is uh, in it. Roxanne? He's, fucking Roseanne, Roseanne uh, uh, Tom Arnold Tom Arnold is like one of the leads Ooh. and it's about a rock band uh, a, like old 80s kind of hair metal band they do ballads whatever um, and they're going to take peyote and on their way to Nochella because um, oh. they can't get into Coachella and um, right. they, they kill an ant on accidents and now the ants are coming to kill them but like oh. first scene is this chick this hot young chick and she's like I'm going to take some they're like Make sure you don't step on any ants, and she just stomps on a bunch of ants. Oh. So right then, first thing, there's a giant, huge fucking building size ant chasing her, wow. and she's running away. And then her top comes off. Oh, and then her pants, and then her underwear. She's just stripping, throwing her clothes at the ant, mm-hmm. and it's just the most. You got to do that to be safe. Yeah. <laughs> no. The, and the ant well, ate her ass first. It. Yeah. It's, it's just stupid. At the end, Tom Arnold is clapping for the band, but both of his hands have been chopped off, so he's just squirting blood everywhere. It's it's genius. <laughs> Dead ants. Possible <laughs> question of the week a movie for next movie. week. Oh, yeah. Best intro to a movie? Maybe like the Ooh. first 15 oh, that's that a good sets one. it up? Yeah. Or maybe not best, but just a memorable one, because there's memorable. so many. I'm going to have to write that down. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah, write that down. I'm going to have to say Saving Private Ryan. Well, I can't even remember that. All right. I can't remember it either, but you'll have to think through it. That whole opening scene. It's for next week. Oh, 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 oh. Next week. Yeah, because I didn't have a question of the week for next week. But um, yeah. Uh, And I have another little weird one. We have just a couple minutes here before we play our first song by the Devereaux. Um, I I always thought that like the ozone had issues with cow farts because the cows were farting. Have you guys heard about that? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, because the... There's certain sections where, like, they all it's Colinga, they, California. Yeah. Somebody was saying it's not their farts, it's their burps. Really? And I was like, what? Cow burps are ruining our environment? Like, that's th- weird. I don't know. But that's a name for a band. Cow burp? Oh, yeah. Cow burp or fart? Right there, all of it. I think just burp or fart is it. <laughs> I thought it was their, I thought it was. I think that the might be poop. a Devereaux song. It could be. Burp or fart. I thought Devereaux it was the manure song. that caused the gas. Or methane? Is it methane? I mean, I'm not a scientist. I know everything there is to know about COVID, but, you know. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, we'll have to take a, a look at that disappointed one. disappointed people right now. Mm-hmm. Wh- why? You're finding out that you're not a scientist. Oh, man. They <laughs> oh, knew that. Um, so what else should we get into? Anything else you guys want to do before we play our first song? That's your... I'm ready for Abominable. Yeah? Do we, do we want to talk about there? cupcakes now, or do you want to talk about it later? Let's talk about it a little bit later.
that is the Devereaux with Abominable, and they will be in the studio momentarily. I love that song. Dude, hell yeah. I mean, it's, not only is it uh, perfect for this week. Oh, dude, it's a sing along. It is. It's it a is, sing along. It yeah. is a sing along. Yeah, no. Yeah, I, I'm I, looking forward to I've, talking I've to you. I've seen them. the Devereaux. I don't know, close to 200 times. So, uh, yeah, this is always one of the ones that gets me going. And that's how I yeah, I am. And that's how I knew when we were going to do this um, Bigfoot episode thing. I was like, well, we have to have the Devereaux in. And yeah. what did he say to you when you when you he asked He said him? something along the lines like, I was born and bred to do a Bigfoot podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my Jesse God. Devereaux. <laughs> or, yeah, something, something along those lines. So, uh, yeah, they'll be in right after we get done with this little part right here. Um, retractions, revisions. Well, I'm going to – my retraction is just a question oh. that isn't a retraction. Uh, <laughs> is that an albino crawfish that you just sent – Jeff just sent me a picture of his Mookie. Mm-hmm. And Mookie is a crawfish that we was talking about earlier. But mm. I thought you said it was blue. That looks white to me. Uh, my previous one was blue. My oh. new one is Blanca. That's the big one. Mookie's up in the – Top left corner. Okay. okay, but it's not albino. Yes, albino. Oh, it is. That's yeah. amazing. Well, yeah. But you, you said you had to get a separate tank for the baby? Uh, w- once Mookie gets big enough, they, they'll they go to battle. Oh, oh is oh, that what happened fun. to the other babies? Did the mom just eat them all? Or Mookie. Or Mookie. Oh. Or wow. the ghost shrimp. Or, oh. and this is terrifying. I'll have to figure it out, but I'm not getting another fucking tank. <laughs> I found a I found a baby baby, like one that looks. I don't know how long it's been hiding under all the rocks and just coming up, but I Whoa. thought I saw it the other day. Didn't see it again. Then I saw it today. A uh, baby what? It's, it's like, another baby. It's another one. Oh. But this is like a malnourished one because Mookie's thick. Oh, okay, mm. all right. You got a little creepy one. Yeah. Nice. Well, he's a survivor. <laughs> so there's something to be said about that guy too. One I, one of them I'm, I'm not keeping. All oh. right. Just the uh, toilet? Just flush it down the toilet? Seems mean. You, this sounds like the movie Twins. It's almost the same plot. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Danny DeVito. So, Not a bad idea. Yeah. I, have, Man, I love Danny DeVito. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. He's good. All right, go ahead, Courtney. I have I have a couple. So I'm um, down to 5,000 emails um, from 7,000. And um, <laughs> last week, I we were talking about the city of punk rock. And I said, hey, that's my brainchild. And it's actually four of us who started chatting about it on vacation. Um, and it actually started, and I know you'll say, oh, it started from Mattersville. It actually didn't. Um, what we, what, mm, but the, didn't it though? Yeah. No, it didn't. Because the topic okay. came up from four best friends who bought tiny houses together. And then that's how they retired. So that's how that conversation actually came up. And oh, um, okay. yeah, so I think that maybe I might be the only one who feels like it's possible maybe because it seems you, you're pretty worked up about it you're like you need to erase that that's our idea i know i it's just so stupid it is so stupid but i'm such a dreamer <laughs> that I, like i feel like i could actually we could we could make it happen yeah it's a possibility yeah mm-hmm. uh, we're just gonna need some donations <laughs> <laughs> and then will you said last week you're eating in your sleep maybe oh yeah i've been doing some weird stuff what's going I, on i don't know i hate it it's pathetic i have to duct tape my refrigerator shut <laughs> really? That's not a joke because then I go sleepwalk when I get up and I kind of open the thing and I realize that it's taped. I realize, oh, yeah, you're fat. Go back to sleep. You know? <laughs> but that's pretty pathetic. What, what are you snacking on? Oh, just, well, St- Stacy knows, just put like carrots and grapes in there. So as long as your mouth is moving or whatever, you know. So, uh, that's funny. Uh, You're like a bear. I'm like a bear, I guess. Just, or a Bigfoot. Brilliant. Just, but it's pretty pathetic that, you know, well, see you later. <laughs> Make sure you don't eat the carrots tonight. Well, I mean, when we were on the boat, you did have your big fall oh, in the middle of the night. That was. <laughs> so were you going to eat? I was probably. Uh, I was probably. Well, 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 yeah, we did find something. You had drank like creamer or something. <laughs> Right? Yeah. I am a bear! <laughs> you, Holy you fuck! Like you had broke into the uh, <laughs> Bailey's or something, or there was something. I don't know. We were like, is that milk in the bed? <laughs> Jesus. Well, it wasn't jizz. That no. may not have been milk. <laughs> Anyways, duct tape the refrigerator. That's my life. Uh, um, so that, there, yeah. You should at least use a one of those newer duct tapes that have like bears on it or some something uh, fun. Oh, something fun. So when I wake up, I go, you know... That's some fun. Just some duct smiley. Tape. It just says yeah. have a nice day. Yeah. <laughs> Stay. It, it just gives your brain that opportunity that maybe you see that and go, oh, okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. I will. That's, I will. That's gnarly. 
uh, anyways, that's what that's all I've got for revisions. Well, what about that pottery? Did you sell it for a bunch well, of scratch offs yet? No, 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 no. I am going to bring it in so we can all look at it and we all assess it and we give a price of what we would accept. Okay. And then uh, we'll go ahead and see if, because I don't know how to do eBay or whatever. I think oh, yeah, Courtney, Courtney knows. can do all that shit. And then we'll put it on. And we'll see how we can raise money for <laughs> our next microphone. Like I don't have enough on my plate. Sure. Oh yeah, my just god! Throw one more yeah, thing on. way to go, Will. I know. I'm such a I'm, dick. I'm the one that suggested no, it. No, it's fine. I'll I'll help you guys. Uh, yeah. And speaking of suggestions, uh, Jeff had some suggestions for the whistle contest. Uh, the worst suggestions I've ever heard. Now you yeah. picked on us for our movies. Yeah. But dude, that did you do that on purpose? Which ones? The, bo- the both of them. The one the, I could kind of hear being a whistle contest. What, Nally Merchant or that whatever one the was fuck, the, dude? The Are you one, kidding me? It's a pretty song. <laughs> it's a really pretty song. That song isn't okay, bad. Okay, okay, okay. I will retract and go with uh, Shake It Off and <laughs> no idea Whip what that It. Is. Okay, Whip It. Hey, Tay, come on, son. Don't, okay. don't embarrass yourself on a music podcast. But uh. right now, the whistle contest is going, so please... Yeah, we're going to have to do it next week. Well, I already posted it on the Facebook Swift, page. People, you'll get my vote. Yeah, but we're too busy this week. That We have too much shit going on. Too much Bigfoot. His dick is all oh, filling no, no, no. up the room. But I'm just saying it's too open. Much Taylor Swift. We don't, have to, we don't have to vote yet. It's open. The whistle yeah, contest is Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's open. what I'm saying. We're yeah. going to get to it next week. But uh, yeah, no, Jeff, you're not allowed to pick whistle songs anymore. That's bad. I'll take some Brian Adams, please. <laughs> what the fuck? I thought I knew you. I don't even... <laughs> Hold I guess I should have known. You you said yeah yeah, but I don't think you quite understand me. I already posted the whistle contest open on our Facebook page. So if you want to, to um, sing somewhere uh, or whistle somewhere over the rainbow, yeah. that is the first submission. So please go and submit your That's right. stuff. Yeah, and then we're, we're gonna shy hear. away from the summer of '69 people. That's not bad. And then we can decide on the next whistle contest, but we actually need to complete the first one. Yep, that's like I said. If anyone's interested in doing it, if not, question of the week dead in the water. Next week. <laughs> <laughs> I, break out your pencils, people. Uh, I'm, I'm. Take, take some fucking notes. That's a quote. Um, what about best Danny DeVito role? Okay. God, that sucks. That's a hard one. Really? Yeah, it's too oh. hard. Yeah, it's too hard to pick. Well, I mean, Frank is the first the- fucking thing. I mean, it's. Let's go. Let's Let's stop. Hey, hang I on. Know, hang I know. I know. I know. There's too no, many good ones. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, so I have a couple revisions. Last week, I said there were 1,700 pounds of meth that was, you know, taken out here off of a right. conga boat. Yes. yes. Um, it was actually 3,164 pounds of meth. Holy Toledo. Yeah. Um, and I tried to find a street value of that because we had talked about that last week and I could not find the street value of that. So any meth heads out there, uh, please let me know how much that... <laughs> because <laughs> that's a lot 33 people got arrested really Whoa. yeah uh, 15 of those people were from santa barbara really oh, wow and two of them took off running and got bit by the doggy Ooh. yeah why so. not just go swim I, go yeah. run into the Won't ocean you freaking swim home i don't know dude oh boy yeah uh they it was a 40 foot ponga boat 350 horsepower and it was a record bust. yeah it, it had to be yeah i'm sure it was I, I was told it was a record bust of santa barbara yeah, that's a lot. That's a shitload of meth. That is, wow. yeah, three thousand pounds. Jesus Christ! And then yeah, take we, that shit back down to Long Beach, people, please. Yeah, and look, I, I just don't you have to cook it or something? I don't know what meth really is. I always thought it was like an oil shit that you put it in a you take in some a, batteries, some Drano, really and stuff like that. Yeah, you can do it. That's that's the way the bikers would do it. I don't know. I don't Drano know. Drano and batteries. Well, I mean, I saw Breaking a, Bad. Yeah, Breaking Bad. Fun stuff. I've never seen that. I you watch. haven't seen Breaking Bad? I know. I will. Whoa. I, will. I, got I get couldn't on. really get put into an it. Ajax in it. Come on. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Ajax. Come on, Chicha Chong. All right. All right. Fine. Uh, so then also we talked about that Hellbender. Yes. Salamander. Uh, oh, let's hear about this. It's native to America. Really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, United States, Eastern and Central United States. And Jeez. I did post the link to that video. That's out there in Jeff's neck of the woods, actually. That's where those things are at. Uh, do do we have guy. a picture of it? Well, yeah. I posted the video on our oh. Facebook page. And okay. the cool thing about that guy is if you scroll down his page, he has some crazy videos. Like um, there was one video of um, two male rattlesnakes fighting for the lady rattlesnake's attention. Really? And then he also has a oh. mongoose chasing a cobra away off of a road. That one was pretty cool to see. Gee. And because I, I always heard of Ricky Ticky Tabby, but I wasn't, oh, I didn't dude. realize and that was a that thing. I love that cartoon. I know. To our listeners, uh, after you're done giving me some of that sweet, sweet Brian Adams, look up Hellbender, Hellbender, 
And tell me how many band names are, are that, please. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh, damn. I bet there's a shitload. Or songs or albums. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, Fuck, album yeah. Podcasts. Sure. Yeah. Mm. I bet there is a podcast. Yeah, it's too, it's too sweet of a name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anything that has a good name ha- is already taken. Yeah. Well, I, what? Uh, burps and farts? Burps and farts. Yeah. I bet that's not taken. Or cow burps. Yeah, I thought yeah. that was good. <laughs> I thought that was pretty good. <laughs> should we should we jump into our question of the week from last week? Oh, let's do it. What was anyone, it again? Uh, an embarrassing childhood story. Oh, oh boy. Shit. You I, go. I'm I can fourth. go first. I can go first. It, it, Will, you're going fourth? Yep. That's super weird. <laughs> um, okay, so he, here's one. So uh, Dirty South. This is a Dirty South story. and it, it, I just thought of this the other day. I forgot all about it. So I'm going to mute myself. Okay. <laughs> Um, let's see. My little brother is three or four. That's going to make me seven or eight. And, uh, we break into this house in the neighborhood. They had a screen porch. So I knew that you could just poke a little hole where the little lock was. And I poked a little hole and unlocked the back porch, the screen door, just so we get on the back screen porch. I don't know why. I don't know why. Yeah. Um, but there's like six of us, seven of us, uh, the neighborhood kids. Um, and so we go in and we're just hanging out on the porch, whatever. It was a house that like no one, we didn't think anyone was ever there. It was like a sure. rental house or a something. A ghost house, right. Well, no, it was furnished and everything. Oh, okay. You know, so we're just kicking it. And then um, then we try the screen door, uh, the main door, the sliding door, whatever. It's open. Right. So we go in and we're just jumping on the furniture and stuff. We're like seven years old, sure, eight years sure, old, whatever. Sure, sure. <laughs> so we're just jumping on the furniture, drinking the fucking water out of the thing. Someone comes home. Oh. We all fucking beat it. Like, we all take off running and we hit the ditch and we we juke this guy. And we're down, like, we're out of there. Right. And then I hear crying and it's my little brother. Wasn't as fast as we were. Uh oh. Um, and this guy has him by the ear. Oh. And it's like, if you want your little brother, you better come out of hiding because we're all hiding in the woods. Like, oh, you shit. You can't catch a little kid in the woods. Like, no. not in their neighborhood. No, no. Um, and I was like, fuck. My friends are like, you're fucked. Like, are <laughs> out of here. So oh. I, I, I have to go out. I'm like, it's my little brother. I got to yep, go out. You got to do it. So I go out there and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. You know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. We um, just wanted to jump on your couch. Yeah. Uh, he let me go, but he did not let my brother go. And he called the cops. And my oh. brother had to come home in a cop car wow. at like four. And my mom was super impressed. <laughs> How do I... How do I learn new things about you like all the time? I've known you for so long and I never knew that story. I know you don't. I know you didn't. That's because it's super embarrassing. That's embarrassing? Yeah, dude. Yeah, how was that a, an embarrassing story? Right? Me and my brother, like brother. under 10, broke into a house and he's like, I, That's I don't not know. embarrassing. Embarrassing is slipping on your own shit and vomiting, you know? I mean, and maybe I get the years wrong. Oh. I don't think he was in kindergarten, though, even. Like, I, I really don't. Hmm. But the guy should have never. Come on, cops. I mean, yeah. there was a, we didn't get in trouble. Like, the cop was just like, come on, you guys. Like, it was clear that, like, we were just in there jumping on the couch. Yeah. Like, right. you know, like, we weren't breaking anything. We didn't, weren't stealing. We were just like, oh, this house is open. He's like, I see where you broke the screen, but it was a tiny little poke hole. So I feel like I'm going to win this. Uh, Courtney, you're <laughs> up. <laughs> well, that's just not embarrassing. I mean, yeah, you don't I think don't it's know. embarrassing? I'm your brother. I'm embarrassed by it. I'm flushed a little bit. No, the only thing that I can think of off the top of my head, because I forgot the question from last week, is <laughs> I was, I got a brand new bike for Christmas. Uh, gosh, I probably was 12. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but I hit a little patch of like uh, that sugar sugar sand, and my um, I fell and my foot got like caught up in the spokes. Ooh. And I was sitting there on the, like, just on the corner of the little cul-de-sac thing that I lived in. And I couldn't, I couldn't go anywhere. So p- people were, like, driving by. And I was just crying and like, help oh, <laughs> me. And so, so the person took pity on me. But, like, they had to, like, cut my foot out of the spokes. He had, he had to, oh like, go God. home. And then he had to, like, carry me to my apartment oh. because like i couldn't it was just yeah that was how old super were you embarrassing. i think i was like 11 or 12 i don't jesus know. you're old i know <laughs> That's wow. like i fell off. no i i okay. like literally like if i looked at my foot and it was interwoven in the spokes like they they had to <laughs> cut the spoke i've always brand had new bike. questions whether that's a natural foot <laughs> oh <laughs> okay 
That limp gives it away. But that wow. was embarrassing. Like laying on the side of the road, uh, just like. I bet. Well, we get about five minutes before these guys are here. Jeff, what do you, what are you thinking? What's your uh, embarrassing one you want to share? Well, you guys kind of put me through it. I just suffered silently as you went up to Lake Shasta because as a very young child, my family went on a houseboat trip up there and embarrassing part number one, I had one of those coin purses. Oh, these, these both happened on the same trip and my dad kept saying, <laughs> you're old, <laughs> coin purse, little rubber well, thing you flip inside out. Little, I'm like five years old. Okay. So I barely have money. This is the seventies, yeah. uh, but it's this, you know, pl- little plastic thing. You squeeze it, it opens. Oh yeah, I know those. Uh-huh. This fucker's stuffed to the gills. <laughs> and my dad keeps saying, put it in your pocket, put it in your pocket. We're on the deck, we're on the deck. Boom, right in the drink. Oh. Man, I'm sure I cried for two hours. Oh my God. <laughs> then my other one was where they all made fun of me. Uh, I was nap time for me and my brothers were water skiing and apparently, Will, I fell out of the bed as well. Oh, my God. Now I don't feel so bad. They all thought it was hysterical. I'm just trying to, you know, admire my brothers. I was <laughs> proud of them. Right. Wow. <laughs> and you didn't even Do say anything all. about that. That's huh. not something I talk about too often. <laughs> that's not bad at all. I've, my, I had my little brother brought home by the cops before kindergarten. I think that's what you were like. This is more shameful thing. Uh, like, yeah. Embarrassing. Oh. I, my embarrassing one was uh, I went to school on April Fool's Day, pretend that I had a broken foot. And it was a wonderful day. Um, imagine this fat kid with shorts and a broken foot. And I wasn't even broken because I couldn't get a cast. Right. Uh, well, it wasn't. It was April Fool's. At the end of the day, I was supposed to go, surprise, April Fool's. But I got out of PE. <laughs> <laughs> I had I had PE as physical education. I had girls coming up to me. Oh, you're so sad. Oh, fat boy, but he's cute. I had teachers giving me get well soon cards or whatever. <laughs> And I did this for two weeks. No way. So I, they I, didn't call your parents? No, because I'd show up. You know, okay, I'd take my crutches, and I'd get <laughs> maybe a half a block, and then wrap up my foot. Gosh, and give it you started and so and young, go over lying. There. And, and then here's where, oh. this is what was so embarrassing. I was so guilty and so bad that at the end of the second week, I went to the very beginning. It was the very beginning of the morning, and I went up to this class, wobble, wobble, wobble. <laughs> this was so embarrassing. I dropped my crutches. <laughs> It's a miracle. And nobody understood what was going on. <laughs> I dropped him like, like, ta-da! I, I'm joking. And everyone said, what? You were joking the whole time? And here it goes. Boo! The whole class starts booing me, and I had to run out. I was so ashamed, and I was crying. I At was least you were able to run. I, I was able to run, but I was just sweating and fat, and I never thought I was going to school again. And, oh, wow. But hey. I got out of PE. Yeah. And I wonder if that whole entire story is bullshit or Let's not. Let's vote on it. Everybody who's listening, vote on it. Do you think that story was fake or real? Oh, I'm going to say, I'm saying true. That's true, guys. I'm embarrassed <laughs> right now. We'll see true. next week. I need it to be true, too. We'll see. Oh, please. We'll see next week, won't we? <laughs> we'll see. His, he's got a good conscience. That's, r- so that's what I'm saying. Lying, he'll tell us he'll like, tell. within a that's day. That's true. That's that's insane. That, that is, is insane. Make the people wait, Will. Make the people wait. Make them wait. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. But I'm just saying. Like, I'm, I'm sweating right now. I know you are. Your glasses are a little fogged. <laughs> the the kids just made fun of me. And how know. long did you get uh, picked on for that? Uh, probably. I think it was like it felt like probably for the next three years of my life. But it was probably only maybe. You two were weeks. known as that kid. Remember that yeah. fucking? That's the kid that faked his yeah. leg being yeah. broken to exactly. get out of shit. Yeah. That's pretty it, embarrassing, man. That's pretty embarrassing. That's that embarrassing. Kind of kid who Jeez. needs to go find Cobra Kai. Yeah. That's right. Oh, man. Okay. What a lineup right. show, people. Jesus, that was good. All right. Uh, Devereaux are up next. I think they're going to be knocking on the door any second. They're probably outside the door listening right now. I'm looking and forward like, to it. And being like, what are we doing here? So, yes. uh, What's up, guys? Yeah. All right. Uh, let's take a little Come break, in. and then we'll see them. Oh, God. Yeah. Devereaux in the house. What's hey. up, guys? Hey, guys. Welcome here. Hey, hello and to you. Yeah. What's song? What's yeah. yeah. Oh, How do you say you. it? How do you guys pronounce it? I remember when we were recording it, the guy uh, was not named Angus. He's all, I think it's pronounced uh, abominable. Not- <laughs> I know, I, I don't know how to, I don't know how to say it either. Yeah. But you guys are saying abominable, yeah. right? He's all, yeah. he's all quick to point out, guys. I don't think you're saying it right. Do you know, want to change that? It's like, super hard to say. Like, what is and abominable? we totally had to look up how to spell that like 20 <laughs> times hey, for that. <laughs> <intros> yeah. <real> <laughs> what does abominable mean? 
Uh, detestable. Terrible. Despicable. Despicable. Right. I, I looked it up. I, I had to look it up. Yeah, I know, <laughs> and I, that's how half the words came up from just looking up the definition. Yeah. Like, oh, these are some cool words. Yeah, like, absolutely. Detestable, Great song. terrible, horrible, despicable. Yeah. Jeff, what yeah. were you saying? Thank you. Jeff? Well, they're all ending in an O, but I was also <laughs> yeah. suggesting yeah. we get some uh, intros. Yes, for sure. <laughs> intros. Okay, right. well, hi, I'm Jeb. <laughs> no, okay, just kidding. We got you guys go. It's Devereaux is the last name, right? So yeah, we have Jesse sure. and Carson Devereaux, and we have Nate Devereaux yeah. sitting over here too. All right. Yeah. 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 Sure. Thank you guys for coming into the studio. Yeah. Thank, oh, thank you. you. Thank you for yeah. having Thanks us. Thanks for having us. Yeah. yeah. How was the drive? Uh, easy. Easy, yeah. easy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Totally. Yeah. You guys are based out of Santa Barbara. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. We've all lived there our whole lives. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you, you guys are all natives. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Jesse and I grew up next door to each other up in the Trout Club. Oh really? Oh, so, wow. We we, we yeah. grew up up in the hills above Santa Barbara, so mm. yeah. No, the uh, the old photos of you guys are adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Obama, and all, adorable. Thank you. you know, it's so funny. Like in your like Star Wars blankets or whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. grew I grew up on Fifty Six or uh, West Camino. Uh, so yeah. I was oh, cool. my house was on top, and you could look down onto Trout Club. Really? And Whoa. I grew up there my whole life. And, yeah, uh, you're a mountain boy too. Mountain boy. Yeah. yeah. Bigfoot. That's gonna, what I know. That's why. That's the whole Bigfoot. Like yeah. when I was a little kid, I was just constantly looking in the bushes. Like, oh, Bigfoot's come coming. on, Bigfoot! I want to believe. I'd making little traps for him and shit. Oh, so you <laughs> would? Yeah. You make Bigfoot traps? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. No, what, what kind of traps? Are we just talking about a hole, <laughs> like with a, a shoebox <laughs> with a fucking stick, and like thinking I'm gonna catch him. Or you're trying to catch a mini Bigfoot? I don't know. Yeah. Is it too early to ask if you've had any sightings? No, I don't know. I don't. And. Uh, there was that Wolfman guy up in the trout yeah, club. Right? Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. What was, what's that all about? This uh, really hairy dude. I don't, he was I like this he really the shit out of me and Nathan when we were kids. But, uh, oh, yeah. So he was just, like this really hairy hippie type of dude. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that doesn't sound that scary. That sounds normal. No, yeah, think oh, that's yeah, yeah. But a lot of naked people up in the truck. Yeah. So. Oh fuck yeah, there are. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there's the White Lotus Foundation right above us. Uh, what is that? That's I'm not a, I'm not you know it's it's people from L A that come up it's a nudist camp is it yeah. Yeah. oh I didn't know that they used to come down to the trout club because there's a swimming hole there yeah we'd be all in the swimming hole and all of a sudden these chicks and dudes would come down dongs and, out yeah dongs yeah. out yeah. Yeah. back yeah. in the yeah. day everything <laughs> extra hair ten years old just like learn Whoa. learn a lot about human anatomy <laughs> at a young age that's all right dude <laughs> what do you think Courtney I think that's when's weird. the last time you've seen someone else's dong <laughs> besides mine yeah I don't know yeah, it's been, been a while, while. Oh. yeah but no sightings up there. I've looked to see if uh, no dong sightings. <laughs> or, yeah, just dong sightings. No bigfoot sightings. Wait, what's the yeah. show about you dongs? You said you used to make traps. Foot? When I was a kid, we used to dig these huge holes, like <laughs> like massive holes, at least <laughs> five spike. foot deep. And then we put. I'm from Florida, so we put palm fronds all over the yeah. top of it. But then we, as we got older, we would shit in it and break bottles and stuff. <laughs> yeah. So if anyone came through, yeah. they would fall in there. So many uh, innocent cats and dogs. Yeah, we're just yeah. I don't to know. Kill Didn't catch a bigfoot. We caught yeah, a I saw a horse fall in one one time. <laughs> I was. I felt pretty bad, dude. Oh I think it broke God. its leg. What uh, the heck? I'm lying. Yeah. I just pulled a Will Ridge. Yeah. So yeah. It, can we talk yeah, about? Um, I want to talk about where you guys. Uh, attraction. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to talk about you. Uh, who plays what and uh, and how we all got started and uh, I mean I know that it's punishing but we got to hear it everyone wants to hear it so we got to start with what instruments do do you play Jesse I play guitar and I do loud talking nice singing, but, uh, <laughs> all right. I don't call it singing I call it like loud talking okay well that's yeah. fine <laughs> yeah he's a singer I'm the drummer you're the drummer yeah and you're yeah. I, I do bass and some vocals the, the as well. Other, yeah. No. We would do half and half vocals. Yeah, so. they really yeah, sure. split the vocals. Yeah. And That's cool. You guys been together for a while, right? Almost 20 years. 20 years. Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys sad. start learning instruments together back in the day? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. No? no I mean, really. well, yeah. kind of grew up we, we started. Kinda. We started a band um, with uh, some of our other former members. It was called... 1984. Yeah, he was in a band oh. called 1984. And then, uh, <laughs> you know, um, and then I joined, and I'm like, let's start writing songs about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, you said the R word. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I know I, the, how PC is everything today. Now you <laughs> oh, can't even. Uh, yeah, I think we're done. You know. can say whatever you want. Yeah. But I, I hey, we we used to spell we used to spell our our band name a, a different way, like the Devro School out. Uh, 
Right. And Isla Vista and that's stuff. That's what I thought there was a reference, but it's your last name. No. So no. 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 <laughs> no. It has nothing to do with the Devil's Group. No, it does. It, it does. It does. <laughs> that's yeah. where we got the name from, but then like people started getting even more pissed oh, off. Oh, I get it. Yeah. And right. so yeah, we, we used we, to hang out we, over there when we were yeah. like... Uh, we right. go party out there at Sands yeah. and Bevro Point or yeah. Cool Oil Point or whatever they call it. Good surf spot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot yeah. of fun out there. And you guys I've only been in the band for like six years, so I but, but you guys are married. I have everything to do with the name. <laughs> you're, you're married. <laughs> yeah, for the we're people married. Out there don't know that. And yeah. I've also known these. We went to high school together. Yeah. We oh. went to elementary school together. Yeah. Oh wow. oh wow. We've known each other for a long time. That's wow. crazy. Yeah. What, what elementary school? Santa Barbara Christian School. Oh wow. wow. We turned wow. out great. You little devils. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, I turned out all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So what was? That, that song, we couldn't find it on Spotify. Where can people find that song? Yeah, what what album is that from? Is that? I have a CD in my car. You can come listen to it. <laughs> <if you want. laughs> so we recorded that, what, uh, four uh, years ago? Yeah, four or five years ago. Uh, yeah. And we always had uh, um, some issues about releasing it ourselves. Because we're too. So, yeah, mm-hmm. you know, well, with gigs and all that stuff, you know. So, uh, we're yeah, very we're slow with. Uh, it t- it, I mean, shit, it takes <laughs> like what, like 10, 10 years to write a new song. So uh, no, I know but it's just like we're still stuck in the CD area and we're learning that it doesn't really work anymore. No, no, so our first album's CDs. on Spotify. I noticed that. Yes. I would like to get that second one on there within the next month. Yeah, yeah. Nice. that's yeah. the that's the one, right? That's the jam. I'm yeah. going to get it on How there. many songs are on that? That's a lot, right? Because I have the album. 12, 12 or 13? 12 or 13. 13 I think. That's a lot for me. I'm like yeah, seven or eight on mine. But we, <laughs> yeah. we also... Yeah. I think we cut... Or yeah. no, we, we, we cut know. one or two, right? Maybe, yeah. You know what it is? Actually, I remember I have both of the albums on one CD. That's what it is. Mm. And I do have it on CD. Yeah. But Jeff, you have some questions? Who are your influences? Oh, uh, the Ramones and... Uh, the Ramones. And <laughs> Come on, dude. We were like the, the queers. Yeah, the queers. Well, yeah. Screech, yeah. Riverdales. And uh, exactly the Riverdales. Exactly. Yeah, little cramps. And, um, he, he described you as... L7. Uh, you, uh, L7. you guys might remember Jeff. He was the lead singer of Swampcock. Uh, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, he moved out to Raleigh. Yeah. So this is our way of getting to hang out with each other every week. Awesome. Oh. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Again, there was a little reference of... Bigfoot, Swampcock, Swampcock, <laughs> yeah. right? We yeah. should talk about his dick a little bit. <laughs> yeah. What do you guys think? I mean, we've gone over it ad nauseum, but are we talking like Red Rocket or? Today eat? is the you know, day. I was looking at pictures of a chimp dick the other day, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like okay, I'm not gonna ask. Yes, what? you're married, dude. You're married. Yeah. Me too, though. That's yeah. so fucking. I'm like, that's funny. a weird Me looking too. dick. Maybe, uh, yeah. Oh wow. What was I watching? I don't know. It's pretty. The chimp dick is pretty. See, it's wild. pretty humanoid. Yeah, it's wild. I don't know. Well, Do you think Bigfoot's a similar? Do we want to talk about know. the female hyena? <laughs> oh God, that's crazy. What? what? Yeah, I don't know about oh. that. No, that's disturbing. It's the biggest non-dick <laughs> you'll ever see. Yeah. yeah, really? What? Or a baboon's yeah. ass? Oh, I've seen a baboon's ass, but <laughs> but anyway. what's, a, what's a hyena's <laughs> cooch? Anyways, uh, yeah. I don't I know I've how to never explain seen that. that. I don't, I don't know. either. You I'm gonna Google that. Now I'm curious. <laughs> and when they you guys are gonna birth. get a weird algorithm on your Google. <laughs> when they, oh, I'll, no. I'll, I'll, I'll give you the like five second. Like when they give birth, they grow a big dick, and there, there's a baby in the dick. And it, it just explodes like everywhere. It's really weird. Uh, right? Am I kind of close to that? Or, do you know what I'm talking I'm about? I'm gonna just say yes because I love it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, are we on the same page? Are we talking about the same thing? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, if that's what whatever you're talking about, I'm talking yeah. about the rest. Uh, look at look up hyena birth. You'll you'll see. Uh, what I'm talking about. I guess yeah. I'm gonna have to post All right, that. All right, Karsten, what about you? What do you think? <laughs> I'm, I'm really glad like? you guys are here. <laughs> yeah, I can go weirder if you want. No, or thank you. But anyways, I do have a quick question, and this is sincerity. I don't believe in Bigfoot, but oh my god, I want to believe. Yeah. My mother swears she saw it. So once you have a significant person in your life that thinks they see it, you as a general young person believes that they there exist. Let me ask you, do any of you believe in Bigfoot? Uh, I, I'll start. Oh. I used to pretty hard. And then right. like six or eight years ago, I kind of deep dive too much into it. And oh, I okay. kind of found out some things that I probably, it kills like yeah. the 
I've like, been there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Have you um? He seen got it? really depressed. It yeah. was sad. I don't, it was sad. Have you seen um the guy the the famous footage the Robert Robert yeah, Patterson? Patterson? Have you seen Patterson. his book? He has. Yeah, yeah. Didn't he didn't he admit it on his dying deathbed or something? No, but no. Like the other guy said four, that it was fake. <laughs> shit, I didn't hear that. But uh, like four oh, or five years God. before the video, you just came told him there's no Santa Claus. Yeah. <laughs> four or five We're years be- hearts today, before the, the the famous footage came out, he wrote a book. And in that, he has drawings of Bigfoot, and one of them looks exactly like mm. the, it has yeah. like boobs and everything. Yeah, what was it like? Guys oh. named Gilmore or something like that. <clears throat> His buddy, and they, he was like, oh, uh, Gimlin or yeah. something like that. Yeah. So yeah, he's but like, yeah, the, let's make... but the drawing in his book, which came out like four or five years before the video, it looks just like it. It, it looks like this is like what he handed the costume guys. Like, can you draw or make uh, this for me? Is this me? an erotic just, drawing just, or just a regular drawing? It's just a drawing of a Bigfoot with boobs. Uh, Jesse, does it look anything like this on this, my leg? On his leg. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys seen that? Yeah, like that? yeah. Bigfoot riding a dolphin. <laughs> that's pr- that's. I you saw really that. Did get that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought you that's just actually said real. On that wasn't else. a press on. No, no, that's real. That's gonna be the, awesome. like my mom said. You know, that's gonna be there forever. He paid for that. <laughs> he paid for that. Wow. Yeah, I this love is that. The part of the interview where that's we, impressive. after one of our guests, would somebody like to lotion the Bigfoot? <laughs> 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 I did tell Jeff earlier, I was like, I did almost lotion it for this you, episode because I haven't done it in a minute. But anyway. So you could tell that he obviously believes and loves Bigfoot. You, now, you do believe you, still? Do you, have any, uh, do you have any belief in it, maybe? I'd like to. Yes, I'm like with you. Like you said, it's like, I want it to be true so but bad. I, like all what about those you creatures. Um, it's possible, plausible. I have no preference one way or another but uh you yeah. have no preference, have no preference. <laughs> i'm not asking are you gonna fuck no. it <laughs> <laughs> yes. hey i might in, in, the, in you know. a percentage what would you say yeah yeah uh probably like 20 30 no. percent I'm, r- I'm right there too mm. can i get 35 what? <laughs> maybe what kind of kills it for me too i'm around like, 80 Everyone, no. everyone and their mother I'm has not, a camera on them constantly. Right. And you had more footage of them like 30, 40 years ago right. when no one. Like, yeah. You know, was, and then they have all those trail cams now, now. And that is really disappointing. Yeah. So many of those cam, trail cams yeah. everywhere and the, there's not one. Yeah. Although, uh, although I do like the Survivor Man episodes of, of Bigfoot when he's up in the, like the Northwestern. Yeah. Oh, and he hears those howls. The, yeah. The, those yeah. are elk. You can't explain okay. those. Yeah, okay. no, I've, 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 I've already debunked that. Those. I know that's uh, elk. Okay. I know way more about Bigfoot than I should. I know. Yeah. <laughs> he said, I was like, yeah, I, I know. Exactly. Yeah. So I mean, stupid. Yeah. It, 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 you know what? I'm not even into Bigfoot that much, I got to say. But. You have a tattoo on you of Bigfoot. Dude, I got a heart and all kinds Good. of dumb shit on me, too. Like, Are you really into dolphins? No. <laughs> just Bigfoot. <laughs> just Bigfoot. And rainbow? Only one Bigfoot's no. riding That was a Chumash thing, the dolphin rainbow thing. That, oh, that, Yeah, yeah. It, 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 my friend was like, you should just be riding a dolphin. I was like, fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then we live up here in the valley, and it's all the cowboys, so I wouldn't even be a cowboy Bigfoot. But I don't know. <laughs> so, I know. It's, it's, uh, but I swear, and we can move awesome. on because I want to talk more about your music, but I promise no, you. I don't there, care about the music. I, I want to tell you, he really will someday. Really, this is true. He will have a Bigfoot cock on his tattoo. <laughs> I talked to the guy on Monday about it. Oh, <laughs> you just got to figure out what it looks like. Yeah. First. Is that no. possible? Is it a lipstick? Oh, yeah. The rest yeah. of my leg, I'm oh, filling yeah. it in with something even. It's gonna, it's a it's a theme. It's oh. going to be really dumb. A whole Bigfoot. I got two words for you. Bald seagull. All right. So <laughs> I've heard people say that Bigfoot is a, a hermaphrodite, too. Have you? That's some bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like he knows. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, yeah. No, 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 no. They're fucking mammals, dude. Like, yeah. what ma- other mammal? Yeah, there's like, nothing else out there. Like, no. No, dude, and then the fucking Patterson footage is a female. Okay. Everyone agrees on that. A uh, platypus can lay an egg, and that's a mammal. True. Yeah, yeah, but that, they can also they have stingers in their fucking yeah. beaver tail and shit, or their claws, I guess, and they have a beaver tail. That's, I guess, shit gets weird. It's like Jurassic Park, huh? That shit gets weird. <laughs> <laughs> so, what weird. are you guys gonna be doing now? Like, you guys writing some music or? No. No, we, I am. Yeah, are you? Yeah. Are you guys jamming yeah. at all? Yes, we are. We are. Yeah. Are you, are you playing together? Or? I gotta be uh, honest. This whole pandemic thing is yeah. kind of not super motivational f- <laughs> right. for music. I don't right, know. Right. It's like when you know you can't play shows. It's like yeah, kind right. of a bummer. We've been doing the same thing. I think we thrive. You know, musicians. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we like tried to, to record f- yesterday all day and it flailed. But <laughs> yeah. Yeah. God. Like I love hours. recording though. I would love to write some new stuff. Yeah, well, that's all you can stuff. do right now. 
He just didn't tell us, but cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, we, the last time we practiced and stuff, uh, yeah, that was, what, a month ago? Yeah, we've yeah. only had a couple of practices I haven't, since, I've, since uh, this pandemic stuff, so. I haven't played once with my band since March. Wow. Really? Well, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, super annoying. It's super annoying. <laughs> I want yeah. you guys to keep practicing, or keep playing, because I yeah. dig it. And Now's uh, the time to write music. I, yeah. Now's the time, because now you have no, ex- like, excuse, like, kind of like, you know, like, it's yeah. busy life. No, you're at home. You got shit to do. Don't look at me. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it, it is like, well, plus, it's like, you don't have to practice for shows, so we could just be writing music. Yes, that's what I tried to Instead of be playing the songs we already know. Right. Yeah, that's, we just got to do it down and do yeah. it. You got to do it, yeah. I probably always needed, like, a manager or something to tell us what to do. Mm. So he's like, eh, somebody. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, well, I don't know what to tell you. How long you, do you think yeah. this is going to, how long do you guys think you'll be out and playing live shows? Uh, Oh, probably forever. Really? Yeah. I can't yeah. say coming back within a year. <laughs> like maybe no. next summer. Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe next summer. No, but yeah. uh, there was yeah. a show last night. Did you see that down in Oxnard? Really? Oh, I didn't see that. A really, a, like an, a real, it looked like a real show being set up, and I kind of get the underground flyer thing. Oh, really? I don't want to sell anyone else. I'm not gonna say it on air, but yeah. it was down in Oxnard. And it I looked cool. I, I was like, <gasps> is that a show? Like a show show? Yeah. So, I, uh, like, oh, man. I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready to do that either, though. Yeah. I'm really not. Yeah. It's like, do you? Uh, is I want to start playing the drive-in the, circuit. Yeah. The drive-in circuit <laughs> are pretty cool. And it's like, do you... Uh, yeah, it's like, people it's, stay in their cars and, like, mosh, you know? <laughs> the cars gonna rocking. Get, they're going to get out of the car. <laughs> Obviously, there, but... Yeah. Yeah. But having those, like, underground shows, I'm like, I don't know, is that, like, a good or a bad thing? Are you, like... It's kind of rad, but it's kind of, like, I don't want to go. Yeah, yeah it's like... I like that people are doing it. Supporting people, it's cool like, for them. But like you, mingling it up. And you heard about the Sturgis, right? Yeah. And now oh, there's yeah. like all oh, kinds yeah. of cases that came yeah. out. Of yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. So a bunch of fucking <laughs> dirty hippie biker fucks like that. <laughs> <I know. laughs> of course. Yeah. 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 Anyways. Uh, well, yeah. I appreciate you guys coming in and talking some Bigfoot with us oh, yeah, and songs. Did anyone have any follow up last? I questions? have one thing. So this week I was made um, aware that Karsten and I have something in common and that we kill plants. Oh. <laughs> and oh, I legitimately the night before I saw that meme and Jeb tagged me in it I bought plants because I started feeling a little like um I brought some back from the dead and I I was like I can do this <laughs> so I have a plant for you I feel, oh. that is like oh. it on the label it says impossible to kill <laughs> Those are. I have okay I've got like four survivors out of maybe like 30 of those <laughs> they keep going is that a snake plant? Yes. Yes. Those okay. are those are good. They're really hard to kill. That's really not hard to kill. <laughs> snake plant. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Her mother-in-law's tongue, I think, is the other name. Wow. Oh. See, these are good lyrics. They're, mother-in-law's ooh. tongue. Mother-in-law's tongue. <laughs> That's not bad. No. What was the uh, band name that you thought of? Oh, stupid. Nothing. nothing. <laughs> Come on, dude. Cow. It was burper farts. Burper farts. <laughs> burper farts. <laughs> Cows are suburbs. killing. We you didn't hear earlier that cows are I guess are killing Americans now. So uh, <laughs> with their farts, with their ozone. No, the ozone. But the burps. I always thought it was their farts. Someone told me this week it was their burps that are actually doing it. And so when you put it together, and Courtney said no, it's their shit. And I'm like, burp or farts? Yeah. I think it's a bit of everything. Yeah, yeah. I know this yeah. world, huh? I like steak though, so yeah, yep, I know. I'm doing my well, part. Well, if they would just be raised <laughs> properly, we could do it. Yeah, you know, it's the as long mass. As long as they're not grass fed, that's gross. Right. It tastes Crazy. bad. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, I know. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah. It's, I'm, I'm like that processed shit or something. I know. I was, yeah, I, I had a grass fed. I was like, we're used to I, I feed him grass out. fed all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some of it's okay. Some of it's too musky. Yeah, it depends where you get it from. Yeah. And you guys have any merch? Uh, we yeah. have shirt. Some shirts. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Online. Shirt left, Can you go to devros.com and find everything that they uh, need? No. Facebook you might be able to Devereaux. soon because I'm actually wor- learning web design. So okay. I will have a hopefully a website up for us. <laughs> yeah. Well, as soon as you do, we'll post it. Yeah. yeah. And they and they have a they have a rad album that's not out anywhere, and you yeah. can buy that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or come down and sit in his truck and we listen can, to it. Yeah. 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 Come on over. He's yeah. bored. So if you come yeah. over, we'll put you in our car. We'll drive you around, play the album. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds okay, like a but you only have a CD available? player in your car. Yeah. Okay. What we usually do is at shows we just hand everything out for free, which is really dumb that's why we need a manager too <laughs> but yeah it's how everyone usually got our stuff from us is just going into a show and i mean we, we had button stickers sh- shirts and 
we kind of, we've kind of dwindled out since yeah, the whole right. pandemic. Yeah, we were going to order we all like new stuff. We've re-upped on then, all this stuff. The well, write Verona. some new songs, get some new merch, and come out swinging. Then yeah. you guys will be ready for yeah. the yeah. 2021. Yeah. 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 Well, we'll be playing uh, at the drive-in hopefully soon. While they Coming to a theater near you. Yeah, <laughs> while, they, while they're screening Harry and the Hendersons or some shit. All right. There we go. That is such a good idea. All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Yeah. Everyone Thank go out guys. there. Uh, check out the Devereaux. They are on Spotify. Carson's going to add the other album to Spotify soon. Yeah, totally. I think I said Spotify, but that's okay. Yeah. All right. Spotify. Bye, guys. Thank you. Thank Bye. you very much, Thank you. Thank you. I keep things bottled up, but you know, underneath this cool exterior, there's a really sad human being. Hey, we just listened to Bigfoot Attack, Absolutely and that song it. was Down Days, and we have Ben and Nick here joining us via yeah. Zoom. What's yeah, up, boys? What's up? How's it going? Yeah, what's up, guys? Oh, we're just chilling, dude. We just had a... Yeah, th- me too. Sunday. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and uh, just real quick, because you guys don't know, I'm Jeb, your host. We have Mr. Will Ridge sitting here. Hi, guys. My wife, Courtney. Hey. And uh, that's Jeff out there in Raleigh, North Carolina. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice. yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So, what's up, guys? How are you guys doing? Yeah, doing just good. chilling. Yeah, uh, are, you're working right now. Right? You're working right now. Ben's working. Oh. Yeah, I'm out in the the patio, of the break room. So all of a sudden, the ACs decided to kick on right now. Of course, <laughs> but I think I can hear you okay. All right. Awesome. Right, cool. Well, by the where way, are, just, where are you guys from? What's up? Uh, we're from Fresno. Fresno. Yeah, Fresno, oh. Columbus. Yeah. Uh, how's Fresno right now? Hot as fuck. Yeah. It, yeah. It's it's hot, but all the smoke from the fires oh. have cleared. Most of it's gone away, so that's nice. Yeah, how brutal was that? It's easy to go out and see it again. It so. was bad. Yeah, well, it was pretty bad down here. But Fresno, I mean, Fresno has one of the biggest trees in the world, right? What's that? Doesn't Fresno have one of the biggest trees? Uh, uh I think it's Sequoia National Park, and uh, yeah, they have it out there. And um, with that being the said, Redwood. with that being said, Bigfoots. <laughs> Bigfoots, all right. A lot of opportunity. Yeah, that's an opportunity place to have Bigfoot sightings. Have you guys seen any? This is we're doing a Bigfoot show, and not only have we love we love your uh, song, but uh, we just need to hear about your Bigfoot stories if you have any. And if not, Man, if you believe in it, I wish I had some uh, real encounters with Bigfoot. You know, I grew up watching like Unsolved Mysteries and oh. sightings and X Files and all that sort of stuff. Hell so I mean, yeah. I always loved like the whole the you know cryptozoology kind of a thing of course and really like the name the never came from we've had on this podcast cryptozoology biggest word ever yeah, that's the biggest word we've had on this cryptozoology. podcast <laughs> <laughs> fake ass animals yeah you know who else loves x-files jeff 
He oh, loves nice. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's almost a bigger fan than me. Uh, I've got yeah, a so huge go- Fresno question. Once we get, please continue. Yeah, yeah continue. Sorry. I got a big oh. personal Fresno question. Oh, dude, I, hit me the Fresno questions. Yeah. Me and Ed's is me and Ed still going? Oh yeah, yeah me and Ed's still here. I used to sling for them way, way, way back. <laughs> is this a pizza place? I'm assuming. I did yeah. a couple yeah, tours in place. Fresno. Mm. You, you what, Jeff? I did a couple tours in Fresno. Oh, okay. Mm. All right. One okay, summer yeah. and then for a year. Learned how to snowboard, Sierra Summit. Oh, yep. Fresno's got Fresno's got some some nice things for you if you can uh, handle the heat. What's what's yeah, that? You can that is true. You're like you're like three hours from the beach, you know, a couple hours up to multiple lakes and the mountains and the uh, skiing and stuff. So it's kind of a, a central place to be. I mean, being Central Valley and all, but uh, yeah, you can do a lot of stuff if you know where to look, whether what's in town like? or out of town. What's the punk scene like there, though? Uh, it really kind of varies over the years. I think Nick's probably seen a little more of that than I have. I was kind of a late bloomer um, after high school. It, it, it varies. Like it's like Ben said, it varies throughout the year. Like some shows can be really good. You know, if it's the most popular band in town and like, you'll see everyone there. But if it's like the smaller shows that me and Ben play or attend it, it's not that great, but like, like it just, it just depends, but, like, mostly, like, everyone here is, like, if there's, like, the bigger band in town, that's where you'll see everyone, and everyone's, like, I love being a part of the scene until you don't see them again for, like, two, three months. Yeah. <laughs> the next big yeah. show. It and, was... yes, I just called everyone out, and yeah. it's okay. That's good, Aww. man. Fucking yeah, dude. Support your local scene. <laughs> but what kind of bigger bands are you guys getting through there? Are you, you know... Like, uh, we've opened for Subhumans. We've opened nice. for um, swing, Swinging Utters, nice. Bomb Pops, uh, Teenage Bottle Rocket. Very cool. um, a lot of, and then just a lot of good DIY bands. Because I book shows in town. Oh, oh cool. So I have book a lot of ska and punk. And, like, those really bring out, like, all, like, the cool, like, people that we know. And, um, <laughs> but, but, yeah, like, like, the bigger bands was, like, we we usually like Ben started this band so we can open for those bands. So yeah, I think uh, we're supposed know, to open hey, for like face to face or something. Thirty bucks. Let's try to play. Yeah. <laughs> how, how, do, how do people that are listening right now? I don't know if this is what you want, but wanted to get in contact with you to see if they could book, go through you with booking. How would they get a hold of you? Easiest one is any one of our social media outlets. Whatever you find, Facebook. Uh, I mean, I'm. It's easier to do fa- everything on Facebook or email, mm-hmm. but. Uh, we have like a link tree website where it's just rather than have a .com, it's just a, a thing there. Here's like seven links. Go to right. whatever you want. And we just use Perfect. that, I think, as uh, spreading the, the gospel. But Facebook's probably the best bet if you want to reach us. Nice. Cool. Can't make it any easier than that. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, it's really easy. Please, come on, people. Come well, on, Fresno. I don't, I don't want to criticize you guys, but I think you made a big mistake. Uh-oh. Um, I don't know, I don't know if you know how I uh, came across you guys, but there I was this – band this is i've been following you guys for a couple years now actually uh, right. before the podcast because it was called 24 hour bigfoot attack <laughs> yeah and you dropped the 24 hour i was yeah. like yeah. instantly i saw 24 hour bigfoot attack i was like boom like whatever like i was in there dude like you had yep. me with that so we have to hear where this and, came from and the album is great the bigfoot attack album it is you. great I re- i've listened to it multiple Thanks. times um but I, I was like oh where's that why drop the 24 hour where did well, it come from? I'll, I'll go back and do kind of an abbreviated origin and kind of go from there. It's like uh, years ago, I mean, another buddy uh, were out getting intoxicated out in kind of the Clovis boonies little spot. People would go park, eat or make out or, or smoke or whatever. Right. And we were just getting lit and like, hey, man, you afraid of Bigfoot? And he's like, I'm hella scared of Bigfoot. And we started having a, you know, a big old conversation about we should go to Walmart, buy shotguns, go in a cabin and look for Bigfoot. Like, yeah. We'll go looking for him. And he's like, well, what if they find us? I'm like, oh, man, what if we're like pinned down for like, you know, 24 hours, like a 24 hour Bigfoot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know? And what? then, you know, the guys that were in the band at the time, they're like, oh, that's stupid. We got to do it. We love it. And then after like a while, I was like, let's drop the 24 hour. And they're like, no, no, we got to keep it. It's silly. So every time yeah. I tell someone the name of my band, their first in- what? <laughs> 24 hour Bigfoot attack. I don't get it. Well, it's nothing to get. So yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's been many, it's been many years. It's basically a new lineup and uh, new members and stuff. So it's like, we kind of revisited and our, uh, our drummer brought it up again. It's like, Hey, that's a mouthful. I'm like, I know, let's just change it and get it over with. And, well, uh, love a mouthful. It's easier. 
But we love it. Yeah. We love it. I either think it's way, fantastic. Either way, it's awesome. Yeah, either way, it's Well, it lives awesome. on in many stickers and shirts out there, so. <laughs> oh, I got to get my hands on a 24-hour. Yeah, I got to get you stuff, the OG merch. I got to <laughs> get in there, dude. Oh, oh, oh. Don't put it on eBay, though. <laughs> hey, Nick, how long you have you been? lose g- money on the listing. Nick, how long <laughs> what have was you that? Been- Nick, how long have you guys been a band together? How long have I've, you been playing? I've, I've, I've been in the band for five years already. I'm not an OG member. Oh. I just know Ben. I, I've booked Ben. I booked Twenty Four Hour Big for the Tech and like a bunch okay. of shows. Okay, so Ben is and, a founding um, I, member. Are you under the twenty? Oh, it's okay. Yeah. Like, like for me, like every band I've joined, I just came in. Like, I don't, I don't want to <laughs> start my own band. I rather just be in like something established and the like song's that. already written. I'm not trying to write anything. That's I awesome. just want to play, man. <laughs> like when I re- when I recorded that album, like I just showed up to our drummer's house and. I recorded and left. That's right. <laughs> That's a <laughs> smart man. <laughs> yeah. Nick, you're smart. Hey, Ben, do you sing? No. Are you the What's singer? That? Are you the singer? Yeah. Okay, yeah, fantastic, yeah. man. Yeah. And you're about, I started a personal question, but how old maybe are you, 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 you are? Jesus. How old am I? <laughs> yeah. I just turned 35, actually. Oh, wow. Congratulations. I'm 32. 35-year-olds. Yeah, well, anyways. Well, so, yeah. So, so, what is next for Bigfoot Attack? I know you got to get back to work, so we'll make it quick. But what's going on? What's next? You guys writing well, new stuff? Yeah, or? As, as you imagine, has been writing a bunch of new stuff. It's really yeah, cool. And, I, well, I like kind of put a hold on everything. You know, we uh, had to cancel a couple of shows we had lined up. We would like to book these Wednesday shows at uh, our local punk spot strummers and bring people out as best we can. And uh, had to cancel a bunch of those. So I was kind of bummed out, but I finally took the time to learn about like programming. Uh, digital drums so I can do my own demos since we can't practice together. It's not really safe to do it still. So yeah. I've been kind of running away with that with some riff ideas. And I you know, I took the time to consolidate all my throwaway riffs on my cell phone memos and said, hey, guys, pick yeah. a riff and I'll run with it. So nice. I've got like about four songs that are done and two more that are works in progress that have at least like a framework of music. So depending on how long this thing lasts, you know, we had an album or first finally after all these years, put everything together, and recorded the album and put it out in October and then promptly couldn't do much with it with all this going on. So yeah. by the time this is all over, we'll probably have another EPs or half an album's worth of stuff, if not more. That's and fantastic. That's great. I think that will just throw it out for free and do it all in house and just try to, you know, put a smile on everyone's face. Like, man, this shit sucks. So once we get back rolling, I'm going to try and do it hard and nice. give something back a little That's bit. Good man. Keep yeah. working. All right, boys. Well, thank you for coming and checking in with right. us. Uh, everyone. Yeah, thanks for out having there. us. Yeah. yeah check out Bigfoot attack. Uh, they, Check out when did Ed. that album came out? What it was not too long ago, maybe six months ago or something. It, yeah, October. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So there you go. Oh, Check well, it out. Yeah. It's great. It all right. nice. we're, we're on all the streaming platforms, all the stuff. Uh, your best bet is find us in person for an awesome physical copy, or uh, band camps for your best bet on one of those free Fridays. But you know, as long as you uh, you listen to us and like us, we we're happy with that. We appreciate that. It's yeah. Awesome. Thank you guys. All that matters. Thanks, guys. Yeah. All right. All right. Later, boys. Thank you. Thank you so much for checking in. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye. Thank you.
Yo, all right. Hey, that was the Real McKenzie's, and that was their new song, Bigfoot Steps. I liked it. Yeah. We, and we actually watched it with the video right good. now instead of Check just... Check out the video. The yeah. video makes the whole thing. <clears throat> well, I like the song. It really well, sounds yeah. good. It's grown on me in a big way. Yeah. It's yeah. Oh, I see what you did there. Uh, I didn't even mean to do that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You did. <laughs> yeah. No, it really did. I, like, it, it, I've listened to it probably a hundred times so far Mm -hmm. because the video, I'm like, well, check out the video too. And it's not like a parody or something. It's actually about Bigfoot. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. I I mean, it's a true story. It (laughs) it is about a child of theirs that they had as a band, a little orphan Bigfoot. Really? Yeah. No. And he he had a kid. Man, everybody's becoming a liar on this (laughs) podcast. (laughs) Bill, what are you doing to us? What are you talking about? (laughs) I... It, yeah, I distort the truth a little bit. Story spinners. I don't know, Story man. spinners. Aren't all Bigfoot stories? That's a different podcast. Oh, oh is that a real s- podcast? Did what? That, I'm saying for us. Oh. Or maybe that's just a new segment. <laughs> all right, get our stories out. Get your bullshit out. All right. Oh, uh, that's it's yeah. called Get Your Story Straight, bud. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, all right. Well, we're waiting on Paul McKenzie to call in. Uh, he's running just a little bit late, but. I think he's still going to call in. We'll see. I sure hope so, because I want to talk to him. I have a lot of questions. All right. Well, let's do a little bit of a paranormal. Oh, shit. That's right. Yeah. Welcome to my paranormal segment. That's right. (laughs) Hello, everybody. (laughs) I'm back with my paranormal segment. Fuck the culture corner, whatever that's called. <laughs> Counter culture. I'm back with paranormal. Culture corner. And uh, I'm glad to be here. But this is a very interesting week because we're doing nothing but talking about Bigfoot. And that was one of my segments earlier. And I'm happy. It's a special to be day. Here. It's a special day. And a lot of people believe, a lot of people don't, a lot of people want to believe. But if this legend has been going on for hundreds and let's even say thousands of years, thousands of years. Yeah. yeah. There's got to be something going on. I mean, even in the caves of, you know, France, there's a picture of a, well, supposedly a Bigfoot, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, shit's got to be something. I mean, you can't be all around the world and everybody claims that they've seen the same identical culture. Big, hairy, man, looking, <laughs> walk, you know. Doppelgangers? Um, but they, I don't think anyone has or have seen their the penis, though. Like, you think you would, but you I'm haven't. just going to revert back to what Jesse said and that is all of the f- pictures and stuff is are from the 70s and you know there's nothing new now there's nothing new now and we're we're it's, heavily like video it's, it's disheartening but yeah. i feel like you're a hater so let's i'm go gonna revert to, to another part of what jesse said <laughs> where he said at one point i believed and i'd stopped there <laughs> yeah well yeah yeah um anyways well i just want to let you know i mean that, uh, i i Want to believe. I'm one of those people. I do not believe. I want to believe. Mm. I don't believe. And I'm so sorry, Jeff. Uh, what, did our, what did our Native Americans call him? Oh, I got all kinds. Okay. Well, we can start with right. Momo. Momo. Windingo. Oh, that. Guru. Amas. Yurin. Yawi. Hoku. Arase. Yorakalu. Bar. I'm just making this shit up now. <laughs> uh, you wouldn't the- know the difference. The, oh, and then here, here's one, the grass man, and, and, and ladies and gentlemen, and here's one for the, of course, big foot. Oh, come on. Oh. So the first five words that you said, I've seen all those movies. Gross. Uh, <laughs> I want to just tell you this. It's so amazing that when, you know, uh, in America that we can come up with big foot. Can you just imagine seeing a foot that's in mud and you just go, instead of calling it like anything, they just go, that's big. And it's a footprint. Get rid of print. We'll just call it Bigfoot. Dude, I mean, we haven't changed much. 
I have the best words. The I have all the best words. That's our president. Like, come on. It, well, I guess mm. you're right. But I mean, like me, hungry, big foot, big foot, Donald. Yeah, hungry good. man TV dinners. I mean, it's the same thing. Yeah. Do you think that Ronald McDonald is a Bigfoot in hiding? He's got all the face paint on. He's shaved himself. And he wears those clown shoes just because he's an That's imposter next... trying to live in and live in Big our culture. Thing. That's your next tattoo right there. Ronald McDonald Bigfoot? Yeah. I don't think so. Stutter. Anyways, I just want to get back into the Bigfoot thing. Um, I, <laughs> you know, the FBI actually has a huge uh, secret uh, X-File, or whatever you may want to call it, since 1971. And they've investigated greatly, and they're, of course they have released small bits of it uh, about you know the hair of it, which turned out apparently to be a deer. Oh. But yeah. mm. you know, yeah. Weird. It, but I mean, if our government is taking it kind of seriously, or it did at one time, come on. I mean, come on. There's, there's got to be some. There's merit there. You heard me. I'm an eighty percenter. I'm a, I'm a twenty to twenty percenter. I mean, and by the way, just too many drones. And our forests are depleting. And if you're going to be a big Man, foot, you got to take a big shit. You get out to those big forests. Hey, interrupter. If you're going to be a big foot, <laughs> if there's going to be a big foot, there's going to be a big shit, right? Oh. Scat. Maybe. Anything. And then, you know, uh, anything. Cats bury their shit. Skiddly bop. Elephants have fucking graveyards. Why don't you think we're finding the bodies? Because they fucking have graveyards and they bury them just like mm. we do. Oh, you think they're like the missing link in between us and the primates? They're right in between. So Elephants you think are? No, god damn it! Stay on fucking point, Courtney. I mean, Bigfoot. you're going. Oh, yeah. Goats. We have been talking about Bigfoot all day. You know? I know, yeah. but yeah. you just Elephant. said elephants like, are. Elephant. I was like, what? I said just like the elephants. They do that. Okay. Yeah. Elephants mourn. They don't sit out there and do a fucking dig a seven inch grave. I mean, dude, they all go grave. to the same spot and die. Well. That is true. Understood, though. They're not bearing. But they don't have fucking thumbs either, do they? <laughs> Jesus but, Christ. But like, Bigfoots have thumbs, oh. and they can bury. So they're out there with a shovel. I didn't say shovel. They have fucking claws. They have big feet. They can they dig holes with that shit. Foot. Have you ever seen a dog Wait, dig a hole? So they dig they a don't hole need a, with their feet? Dogs don't need fucking shovels to dig holes. Oh, my God. Now you're telling me. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm you're, just saying. Think about that back I've, kick. <laughs> okay, go ahead. And its toes can curl, so it gets an extra little hook into the ground. Yeah. If, I mean, if really, it's if like, the soil's moist, yeah. I say one, two foot tops. That's all the hole you need. What about drop it in there? You kick it back over. There's you another go walking. There's another theory that says that the Bigfoot eat their dead. What? It is a sign of tribute. Bones and all from the ass Bones first, right? No, I just made all that up. I don't. know. <laughs> it sounded oh. right though. Uh, yeah, yeah, and at this point, you guys are gullible. Well, I just want to say... <laughs> you sound gullible. My paranormal segment is not holding very much merit right now. <laughs> I, I just want to let you know that there's so many pieces of uh, non-evidence, I think. <laughs> oh, how uh, many countries? How many different that, countries? I'll give you. Okay. That's what I'm giving you. Right. How can people from a thousand years ago still agree on this hairy man? Right. This right. is big day. We should really focus on the pros. There's other episodes to discuss the cons, but let's really make the point for it. All right. You know what? I take that bad. He he's got a good point. He does. And what do you think he really smells like? They say skunk ape, but like, were we thinking balls or were we thinking armpits? I'm thinking like a bally armpitty lavender. Hmm. Uh, well, I mean, wet I think dog. it's just wet dog. Yeah. Like I was gonna say that, wet but also like lavender. I was talking to Doctor L about it, like. Does he need a blanket? Like, you know. Oh, just... I like that you were talking to Dr. L about Bigfoot and the way he smells. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just like, does he. But you I don't, don't think that that was cute? Does he need a blanket? I mean, I, I need put a blanket out a at picnic? night. No, dude. Like, does a... he make a blanket out of leaves? He's got. Well, he... so that brings me up to another thing. So I recently saw, um, let's call it a documentary <laughs> that had a Bigfoot's nest. Oh, a nest Christ. that makes. So now this huge... Where do you think it sleeps, though? Oh, What's my it, God! Is it a nest? It, caves. Caves? Caves, okay. How many fucking caves are there? That's true. None. Well, well there's as many caves as our Bigfoot, I would say. You'd say there's... Oh. <laughs> well, there's caves here because Riley just did a camp out. And yeah, and he thought he fucking heard one in the middle of the night. Oh, my goodness. This is... This is I'm aging right now. <laughs> my heart is bleeding. This proves it. It just... We, We've made the case today, people. The evidence is there. Yeah. You're welcome. Share it with your friends. Yeah, yeah. I think that um, I think that everyone is in agreement. Bigfoot exists. That's what I've heard across 20%. every single band, 
Since I do here. today. Today, I believe. <laughs> He's a liar. All right. What about if we met? Are there Bigfoot ghosts? Uh, can I'm, you imagine that? Yeah, I can imagine it. I mean, you're calling him a mammal. Yeah. That is interesting. That Would is, that be scary? I mean, That's... all dogs go to heaven. Do we know where all Bigfoot go? I feel like they're nice. Have you seen Harry and Henderson's? That was a documentary. That was a very good movie, but not a documentary. Yeah, but Big, Bigfoot's kind of a badass. I could see him going to hell and having a good time. I just saw the one about the Australian Bigfoot, and they're like, he has a pouch. Yeah, like a marsupial. marsupial. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I That's some that. bullshit. Where's heard... a fanny pack? What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, right, he's Joe Rogan. Just yeah, he's fucking... just cruising around. Probably got a Panama hat, too. That wouldn't <laughs> shock me. <laughs> Panama hat? Yeah. Well, then the, some of the crazier things that I've heard and Jeff has heard, too. Uh, I know, but like, they don't leave a, a trace in the, in the snow. It's because they can float just as much. Yep. Oh. <laughs> that's the most bullshit. They can they can float, but only like an inch just so they don't leave tracks. So that's, an, that's a theory. And I've heard the Bigfoots are aliens. That's another big theory. I believe in okay. that more than anything. What? you got to be fucking I believe out. in that more than anything. There was a woman That's in Canada. So aliens come down and they would go into the middle of the woods and not around us? Well, that makes kind of sense. Doesn't it? When I said that out loud. <laughs> there was a woman in Canada, an old lady who swears to this. She's about 93 years old. She went out. She saw something man standing there and looked like a huge ape or whatever like that. She shot it with a shotgun and it exploded into some cosmic rays and it oh. disintegrated. And there was no evidence at all. So wait, at ninety something years wasn't. old, there's there's some dementia there. I mean, let's just call yeah, it. Yeah, but she could still is. pull a shotgun. So uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, wow, I don't know. I don't know. It's probably Chewbacca. She probably just. I'm Star really Wars trying to she... support this Bigfoot thing today, but when you bring in alien <laughs> Bigfoot, come on. It's yeah, it's <laughs> tough, man. It is a tough sell. I am sorry that one. I, uh... I think it's gonna be some kind of old monkey if we're making it real. Oh but, God. Yeah. All Anyways, right. that's about it. Can for we me. get that old lady, that ninety-three year old, on? Oh no, she's dead. <laughs> no, oh, no. She's... Bigfoot ate her asshole first. Oh, oh God. all right. Well, that's your husband. I don't know if uh, Paul's gonna show up or not. We'll he's see. He's actually not. We'll so. see. Oh, he's not. Yeah. He, uh, We're gonna reschedule. We'll have to we'll reschedule it. Yeah. Well, they have that song still, and it's awesome. It's a good song. You just got the message right now as yeah. I was saying that. I, I did earlier, but I didn't want to interrupt. Because oh, we were talking so much. Well, but... and maybe that's appropriate on a Bigfoot episode that. It just vanishes at the end. Well, oh. Also, it leaves a little mystery, mm-hmm. I think. Right. You know? Just I, like, a... I like what you said, though. It's, it was because we're talking so much foot. <laughs> talking so much foot? Dude, I could talk foot all day, son. Oh, you remember Bobo? What, Bobo the Clown? No, or Boo Boo, the guy finding Bigfoot on oh, M- oh, Honeymaker. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Was he, th- was he about this high? Or was he about this high? Yeah, every fucking time. Every time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But Wait, we're just going to go. Cartoon? No, this is a real thing. How we're... much would they have to pay you to be that guy on that episode? Not much. We're going to go. <laughs> we're we're going to go squatching. Well, I mean, also, like, mine and Jeff's favorite Bigfoot movie is not your average Bigfoot movie or not your typical Bigfoot movie. Yes. And uh, Jeff had the best synopsis of it. It's just a guy who wants to go in for a walk in the woods with his buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and one of them died recently, and that was Aww. very sad. I had uh, turned that movie on to one of my customers, and he's like, ah, oh, sad day in Bigfoot, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> history. Well, anybody out there that believes in Bigfoot or anything like ghosts, please, 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 please write in and just give me a little synopsis of what you think, your opinion, and definitely any evidence. But And please- if you don't want to write and you just want to call, 805-697-7070. It's that easy. Yeah, I would Very. like to hear people's voices. Mm-hmm. It'd be nice, other than our own. Give We're us your Bigfoot the- call. What's your Bigfoot call? Can you get, give us one, Jeff? Mine's just a ripoff from the movie, but let's I would be it. happy to. Yeah, let's hear it. Mama. Mama. Akile Nishé. <laughs> Mama. Mama. I think I got the offbeat just right. All right, I'm going to get try mine. Woo! <laughs> something like that. Wow. <laughs> Wow. And, that's it. and this is what we're talking we about. Put a warning on this episode because if people are listening to this <laughs> in the right environment, they may get a 24 hour Bigfoot attacked. Yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, nice. All of a sudden, your car gets rocked. <laughs> oh, no. 
What is that? Windows are down. Is that a big foot? No, it's a 12 foot ant just smashing you. Better take your clothes off. Oh, you're trying to do it too. That was good. Everyone's good. (laughs) You got to try that. It is a word thing day. Yeah, it is a word thing. Um, I'm not that. Oh, God. Well, mine is. You want to hear my big foot call? Yeah. Uh oh. Me, me, me. I don't exist. <laughs> oh, oh no, oh, not today. No. Come on, Bill. not today. Not today. Oh god. <laughs> 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 that is a Bigfoot sucking dick. Well, I got lightheaded. Well, yeah, you did. That was a lot. Yeah, well, that was that your was exercise for like the day. That's gonna blow this, someone's speakers. That is not gonna go over well. <laughs> Courtney, can you round it off and give us your Bigfoot call? I'm good. Are you do male or female? I mean, you, it's Bigfoot Day. We're celebrating. If ever there was a day, today is that day. I have and no And also, idea. like in the you know the spirit of equality, we really need to hear the feminist Bigfoot. Yeah, from yeah. a woman's perspective, we need it. <laughs> I'm good. Just like maybe a coup, like a little a coup. Mm-hmm. Like something, no. like a little Bigfoot coup? Like, I'm good. Imagine you were trying to woo me and I was the big Bigfoot. <laughs> no, I'm uh, good. I was the big bad Bigfoot. Come on, baby. I'm good. <laughs> no. Oh, who did that? That was a good one. Little no, I don't think I'm they do that. I'm trying to give you some ideas or you know, run with something. Uh-uh, I'm not. Come on, Courtney, you're shaking. You don't like it. All I right, know. well, thanks everyone for this listening. This was a fun podcast. <laughs> yeah. I really appreciate it, everybody. <laughs> yeah. This was fun. <laughs> Let's do some closing thoughts and shit. What do you guys think? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. All right. How's it going, man? It's going. How are you doing? We're doing pretty good. Hi, Paul. You figuring out that Zoom? Yeah, this is my second Zoom interview. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Well, thank you for doing that. Yeah, I'm Jeb. Uh, we got Will Ridge over here. Hello. And Paul. then my wife, Courtney, who Hello. you met earlier. Hello. Yeah. Hello, I'm Paulie Kevin McKenzie. Yeah, buddy. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank we you just so played much. a your bigfoot song we've been doing a whole bigfoot episode um all, yeah all the all the bands this this week were all bigfoot oriented absolutely love the song yeah We're in the video good. and all that how how did you get to the bigfoot idea have you are you are you a believer well you know the real mckenzie's have always taken uh legendary uh mythical animals and <coughs> excuse me Use them for um, environmental political statements, right. yeah, but in a fun way mm-hmm. instead yeah. of in a um, in a sort of a finger wagging way. You know, like a lot of some bands do that, and we always like to retain our sense of humor. <clears throat> like one of the um, one of the other songs we did was a song called Nessie, oh. and it's along the same the same environmental connotations. Nice. With uh, with little cryptic messages, but underneath um, a, a form of, of humor and, and uh, comic relief. Yeah. Well, you can tell that there's politicalness, you know, with the Bigfoot of you know, tread don't tread on me day type of deal with the political view in the pipeline, the pipeline, and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. and that's in that video too. Well, I mean, you know, when, when you beat a big drum and and stuff like, kind of like. Um, What's what's a good example for me right now? Oh yeah, the anti fan mood movement. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Antifa, yes. Yeah. They're so they're so left, the right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. No, I I would and, completely agree with you with that. It, you know, you go you can go too far either way. Yeah, <clears throat> and never lose your sense of <laughs> yeah, <laughs> your sense of humor. <laughs> I'm just I'm just laughing because um. I'm remembering all of the people I know that have lost their sense of humor, and it doesn't look good. You yeah. know, eventually it's just people go like, "What a fucking wanker!" You right. know, like, dude. No matter and you know, no matter who's right or who's wrong, when that happens, it's just you, you lose. You're a loser. Mm-hmm. That's right. In my opinion. Yeah, and I I had a friend a while ago who said, "If you're arguing on the internet, you're automatically a loser." Period. <laughs> fucking period. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah I'm. Uh, I've had quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of lambasting on the internet mm-hmm. over the years. Are you, you coming? Know, like, I'm so sorry. F- please finish. Okay. Well, you know, like um, what are they called? Pocket Titans. 
<clears throat> living in their li- living in their mother's basement. Oh, you know, yeah. they're, and they're angry young men, and you know they they see people actually doing stuff. And I've also got people here. There's a thing in Vancouver called hometown syndrome, oh. and there's a whole lot of musicians or were um, who never got out of town. Mm-hmm. And so when they look at a guy like me, who I'm constantly on the road and constantly around the world, and when I come back here, there's nothing but negativity. Mm-hmm. And it's out of jealousy, I guess. Sure. But I mean, you know, there's there's a few different things. I mean, it's, it's not paid for without a price. <clears throat> Take, for example, people think that I'm a big, rich rock star, like <laughs> Fat Mike. Right, right, right. But I'm not. The, the opposite is actually true. Because <clears throat> it costs a lot to go on the road with a bunch of guys sure. and um but um anyway you know these these guys they stay home and they have their nice cushy little place and their cushy little job and i i don't begrudge them that i wish i had that yeah the but white I don't nights because, yeah I, I traded it for something other <clears throat> and that is you know sleeping on people's floors sleeping in the van not, but not, the yeah, important not, thing the important thing is is to play as many gigs as you possibly can mm-hmm. Fuck yeah. <coughs> Hell yeah. and to make as many people happy as you possibly can that's mm-hmm. awesome man not me yeah, I, get I, I completely get i retired i completely <laughs> like my warm bed <laughs> i love my bed i don't you know i i now phone in my own concerts no i'm joking i'm totally joking <laughs> by the way i have a couple yeah. questions are you so how did you find yourself in vancouver how did i find myself there yes uh, I was born here. Wow. Well, then that answers that. Yeah, wow. Dude, you should have read the book, bro. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> I, I, right. I did. Yeah, st- I was born here in, uh, in 1960 on October 2nd. As a matter of fact, I can't fucking believe this, but I'm going to be turning 60 years old uh, on October 2nd. Uh, fucking 60 years old. I mean, and you're still doing what you love. I was 16 yesterday. Yeah, uh, doesn't right? it feel like that? I mean, I'm not 60 yet, but it does feel like you just blink an eye and you're like, I still feel like a teenager. Yeah, except but for your body. Again, <laughs> you know, if I think about all of the in-between then and nows, all of the memories I have, all of the shows that I've played, like, I, I asked my European manager, and this, we've just been working together for about maybe 13 years, mm-hmm. maybe 14 years, and I asked him, I says, how many miles do you think I've traveled since you've known me? And he says, I'll get back to you on that. Oh, wow. Oh. He says, well... Well over a million. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Man. Yeah. I, I take it you're the kind of guy that would get bored pretty easy sitting in place. I, um, I, I'm, I'm really misplaying. Mm-hmm. Oh, I bet. Like this, this pandemic thing really fucked me up. Yeah. Really fucked me over. Because we were supposed, supposed to do um, Canada, U.S., extensive Europe, Australia, South Africa, Jeez. the Philippines, oh. and Japan. Well, so when did Beer and, and Loathing come out? That was that was recently, right? So you were going to yeah, go tour that we, album. We recorded it before the whole pandemic thing came. The hammer came down. Mm-hmm. So, um, and we were supposed to be touring this album. Mm-hmm. Right. That was the plan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's it's all, you know, it's all rehashed, and I don't even know anymore. Yes. But you know, <laughs> I was supposed to come home with seventy five grand. And I came home with seventy five cents. Yeah. Oh. That's yeah. And then the then the business. um the job I was supposed to get, the company folded oh. because of the pandemic. So um it's a new thing. And then it's not only that, I don't get to be a rock and roller anymore. Yeah. <laughs> and I, that part of my identity is done. Well it's and not it's a real it's done. a really well for, for the time for being. Now, yeah. yeah. But but it's a really heavy transition for me. Mm. Because, you know, like, I am um, I wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning saying, like, oh, it's time to play. Right. <laughs> yeah. Because I've been doing it for so long, and it's it's just uh, a natural impulse for me. But um, so, you know, what am I going to do? Read? Uh, <laughs> do my laundry? Right. Meditate? <laughs> yeah. Does, uh, I don't know. Is uh, Canada giving out uh, money? I mean, because the U.S. cut off the money for everyone who's struggling right now. Are they still paying out? Uh, no. No. Yeah, that seems to be it. And I, I think I saw today headlines where uh, people are starting to get kicked out of their homes that haven't been paying rent. 
Yeah, that's, that's yeah. It's a it's a pretty tough go for me right now. I can barely keep myself in beer, scotch, and rent. Oh mm. Jesus, man! Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm down to eating one meal a day, but I only ate one meal a day before anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh man, well it's a good meal though. It's that's a good, good. One. Nice. I've been really digging that new album. I I'm sorry that you guys can't go out there and tour it now. I I don't know. When do you think? Maybe next summer you'll be able to get out there and do that. I don't know. Um, as soon as I've got the green light, I'm gone. You're going, yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Are Are you writing anything new right now? Pardon me? Are you writing anything new right now because you don't have much to do? No, I'm I'm really uh I'm I'm disillusioned right now. Right. But yeah. I think it's I think it's just a uh, it's it's going to be like a springboard effect soon mm-hmm. and I'll I'll just it, it'll all come out. <laughs> Yeah, you would think yeah, everyone's. That's, that's the way I write anyway. I, I just sit down and I just write a whole shitload of stuff. That's awesome. <clears throat> and that, then uh, it's uh, it's good to have a good band to bounce the ideas and stuff off of. Mm-hmm. Because if there's one thing that that I don't enjoy is when a band has one writer, mm-hmm. and he rewrites or she rewrites one song over and over yeah. and over again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you can tell. You definitely can and tell. And I like diversification, and so. Um, not to mention, you know, I don't consider myself Paul McKenzie and the real McKenzies. I like to have a team. Mm-hmm. Right. That's right. the best way. You know, yeah. That's, that's, that's you're going to get yeah, some real diverse music, something a little different. Yeah, diversity and, and uh, the incentive of the, as the team, you know, and uh, you're a part of the group that's instead well of just a hired gun or something, you know. Yeah. I've seen bands sort of disintegrate from that, like, Oh yeah, well I played for this band, but you know I was just a hired gun, and mm. they paid me out and stuff like that. But um, I don't, I don't like to work like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good, man. I like to have a family. Hell yeah, mm-hmm. you've had a big family. I've seen the history yeah, of your band members. Crazy. Arr, I've destroyed over a hundred men. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a pirate. I started reading your uh, biography too. That was, I, I'm, and I'm not all the way through. I'm about chapter seven. But uh, I get to see the whole origins of how everything came up, and then. Um, so I haven't read the book. What? How did you pick up? Like, how did you start music? What was your, like, what was your? How did I start music in my life? Yeah. Like, I was in the church choir. Oh. <laughs> wow. We've heard this one but before. But I hate Catholics. I hate Catholics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand them. Hmm. Um, yeah, I was an altar boy. Jesus. Wow. Okay. And when. Uh, when I wouldn't let the priest have his way with me, right. he told my parents that I was an evil child. Mm. And they believed him. And that was the beginning of the end for me. So I ended up leaving the house really early in my life. Wow. <clears throat> but that was, uh, that was when punk rock was just starting to happen. Mm-hmm. And so I just clicked in on it and I've never left. Wow. wow. Uh, that's yeah. a pretty impressive story. Wow, I didn't know that. I was laughing at first, but now I feel bad. Because well, it, it yeah. sounded like a joke, but yeah. then no, it's not. So then like, I left the house at, at um, 15. As soon as I graduated, I left. Yeah, Dang. saw that. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you guys had DOA and subhumans as sort of the, I assume, some of your bigger influences back in the day when you were starting. Yeah. But there were some, some really impressive bands that were happening before the, the quote, punk, unquote, scene. Yeah. You know, there were bands like, have you ever heard of a band called The Tubes? No, I have not. Mm-mm. Yeah, well, write this down. The Tubes, White Punks on Dope. All right. They yeah. had this, um, it, it really impressed me when I saw them when I was 15. They had this sort of a Las Vegas punk show going on with elaborate costumes and stuff like that and elaborate lighting and stuff. I think you could probably get it. You could probably look it up and get it. It's really quite entertaining. I bet it's on YouTube. And it's, mm-hmm. it's just one of uh, one of a bunch of bands. Like Ian Dury and the Blockheads were around then. Nice. They were quite inspirational to me. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> you've, been, but, um, you've been doing it for so long. I mean, you, you've had to see so many of these bands come and go too, and you just keep pushing right past them, keep – you know, putting it down. What are some yeah, of the- my, my, my first band was in 1975, mm. and we were called The Zippers. Oh, <laughs> I was going to ask what was your first band. That's awesome. Yeah. So yeah. What, are, what are some of your new f- favorite bands that are out there right now? What are you listening to right now? I don't listen to new bands. No? It's, you're just... No. I don't, <laughs> I don't really know anything. Oh, man. Well, you're- so, since... Since I came back from tour, I just dropped right out. 
Oh, man. Yeah, I figured you'd have your ear to the ground being out there playing so much. But it's not that I'm not listening to music. <clears throat> but uh, it's not – I'm just not – I don't have a finger on the pulse on any any new stuff. Right. Like, new, well, uh, um, I guess the spits aren't new, are they? No, they're not new. I, I wonder what they're doing right now. I've played with the spits a few times with my band. Um, um, I used to hang out with those guys when I lived in Seattle. Oh, cool. Right. Those, those guys in the briefs. Oh, yeah. It was a, it was a different time. That was before Seattle died. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Seattle's just – yeah, it is a doornail now. I know, isn't but that back weird how then, places was, come and go? It was thriving. Yeah, we, we used to go down there. The, the real Mackenzie's used to go down there on a regular basis. So I and, have some questions for you. I'm sorry to cut you off. I didn't realize that it sounded <laughs> like you were done. I'm sorry. But um, you have traveled so many places, okay? Tell me that you have seen a ghost or some kind of paranormal activity somewhere along the lines. <laughs> Would you repeat the question, please? Yeah. I have terrible tinnitus. Oh, okay, so you have traveled so many places all over the world. Have you seen a paranormal activity, a ghost activity, any any place in maybe the more old uh, cities that you've been? I enjoy everywhere I've been. Every everything has its its own appeal. Mm -hmm. And I mean, take for example, when we're playing big summer festivals in between we we will pick up any show anywhere Whoa. even a tiny little a tiny little shack in a tiny little field that's awesome you know and quite often people say like holy shit the real mckenzie's what are you doing here I says, <laughs> why, why wouldn't we be here yeah <laughs> um you know like if you look at it on an economical standpoint they give you a meal they, you get some money to put in the gas tank or whatever, or maybe some pocket change, and they give you a place to stay. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you'd be forking out money for, you know, seven meals, seven or, you know, three, four hotel rooms, mm -hmm. and parking. Yeah. Right. So, you know, why not go to tiny little villages or tiny little towns? Yeah. It, it, and not to mention, it's really intimate, because yeah. I like to work the merch booth and talk to people. <laughs> yeah. That so was pretty cool. Yeah. And there, and there are hot chicks everywhere. Nice. <laughs> so uh, when you go to these tiny towns, have you have any paranormal experiences, any ghosts, anything like that? Oh, in Scotland all the time. Really? Ooh. Can you tell oh, yeah. us a story or two? Um, yeah. There was, uh, there was one place we were staying by this place called the Whispering Wall. Oh, oh wait. I think I've heard of this place. <clears throat> yeah. And you can, you can sit. 300 meters from a person who's sitting at the other end of this wall and you can whisper to them and you they'll hear you what? that's yeah. really gnarly yeah, yeah it's it's really quite unique and there's another place called overton uh which is there's a song on the album about it um when overton bridge um something like 200 dogs have committed suicide on that bridge what? over the past 25 years or something Jesus. or maybe maybe even less maybe the past 10 years but nobody knows why these dogs commit suicide on that bridge it's an ancient granite bridge huh. and uh, uh, we're looking that one up right now yeah yeah um and then let's say there's a song about it on the latest album mm. oh dude um there's um also you know edinburgh is just you can see ancient um uh, shadows in the streets like we always do the royal mile which is um just there's there's just pub after pub after pub after pub so by the time you get to the end of it you're quite inebriated and it's late so um edinburgh is quite an ancient city with very um traumatic history if you will over the centuries sure. and so these these echoes and shadows remain on the streets and stuff <clears throat> like we saw these um these two there was a number of us that saw them and they said, they said hey, look they're dressed better than we are <laughs> and they had this, this ancient scottish garb and then when we got around the corner to ask them about it they weren't there oh shit no oh, way wow. that is interesting yeah and there's another t place um, in victoria british columbia which isn't far from vancouver it's on it's the capital city of british columbia and it's on vancouver island and in the, in the town square, there used to be 
a, a battery of cannons. Right. Because, um, <clears throat> yeah, there were a few wars that were happening. Right. And like the War of 1812 and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, um, one of the guns blew up. It was misloaded mm-hmm. oh. and it blew up. And the gunnery crew haunts that square. Oh. And every now and again, you can see them. Oh, Whoa. trip out. We're, we're so into the paranormal in here. <laughs> <I know. laughs> if you couldn't tell with all our Bigfoot stuff and whatever. Uh, but Bill, <laughs> did you have any last questions for Paul before we go? No, I was just actually just listening and oh, you have. Uh... Well, you know that uh, normal enjoys company. That's why there's a pair of them. <laughs> <laughs> I like I it and that. a joke. Yeah. Love nice. it. Yeah, that was a that was a triple play well, right there. Yeah, Court, do you have any last questions you want to ask Paul I, before I we go? I do have one last question for okay. you. And I know that um, you kind of alluded to it in that you're in a spot where, you know, you weren't expecting to be at the very beginning of this year. No, None of us are. But I know that you have traveled so much, and I know that that is a valuable teacher. So can you give me a life lesson that you have learned just by traveling the amount of, of – <laughs> you know, travel that you've done a life lesson from okay. the road, a life lesson from the road. Okay. Try not to drink so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God but always make sure you eat. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know, and if, if you, if you're into eating vitamins, do that. Anything you can do to keep your nutrition up okay. because, um, because touring is, uh, it's hard on you. Mm. And if it's, if you don't take care of yourself, you'll eventually use up your life's energy mm. and you'll become old, you know, because you'll, you'll be losing it, using the alarm. And by all means, stay away from the powder. Oh. Oh. Yeah, hard drugs. It's just poison. And junk food is also poison. Mm. Yeah, and that's really hard to do. Best to go to a traveling. supermarket and get your, your good stuff. Like what I do, what I normally do is I have – a bunch of canned fish, crackers, <laughs> onions, right. lemon, and you just put the canned fish in a bowl, chop up the onions, mix it up, maybe a little mustard if you have it, and then put it on crackers. It's great road food because you can distribute crackers to the band as you're rolling. Right. Wow, that's a good that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah, but make sure you mix it when you're not rolling, or gotcha. else you might get fish oil all over the seats and stuff. <laughs> That's no. not good. Then you're gonna smell it for it the rest of the time. It lasts forever too. Well, hey, Paul, yeah, thank you so, you. thank you so much for joining yeah, us thank for you a very talk. Much. Hey, wait a minute. Don't oh. you want to know my my zodiac sign and how much I weigh? I don't know. My eyes. I mean, if what, you what's want. your blood type? What kind of, how big is your penis? Yeah, my blood type. I have a really um, original O type blood. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that's me you. too. Yeah, that's you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and believe me, I've left it in a lot of places around the world. <laughs> wow. <laughs> on the floor, uh, on awesome. the table. Um, there was a one time where I got my <clears throat> my ears nailed to the table in Freiburg, oh. Germany. What the fuck? How did that happen? <clears throat> well, in Germany, they have these carpenters' guilds, and at the end of the, the, the session, they have to travel for a year around Germany with no money, and it's the law that they have to be taken in. And if, if, you, if you see them on the highway, you have to pick them up. Whoa. So, you know, they you take them home. They do work on your home and you feed them and for room and board and stuff. So anyway, we were playing a place called um, the Waldfish in Freiburg, Germany, right by the Black Forest. Okay. And one of these carpentry guys was at the gate. <laughs> so I says, hey, that's interesting. I've heard a lot about you guys. So I says, let me buy you some drinks. So we're drinking, and I lean in close to him. I says, do you have your piercing nail with you? Because it's a special nail that they have to. Oh, oh did we lose you? Oh, no. Oh, that was such we, a good story. We did not lose him right now. We just at did. At, like, the climax. That fucking the, sucks. Oh, well, dude, we're oh, going to have to. Oh, says, wait. Okay. Oh. I want you to pierce and I said, I want you to pierce the tops of my ears. And he says, yeah, no problem. So we got some vodka and put it on the table and disinfected it. Oh my gosh. And then I, I lay my ear down on the table and he put the nail through with a little hand. Oh, oh my God. And it was no problem. So I had this I had this ring and I put it in. And then I says, okay, now the other one. 
And he says, he had a couple more drinks, and this time he drove the ha- the nail into the table. Oh, fuck. So oh. it was, it, you know, I'm, I'm impervious to pain. <laughs> but um, the painful thing about it was that he couldn't get the nail out. So he had to go upstairs again to get some pliers. Oh. And I was I was pinned to the table, and I couldn't reach my drink. So oh, it was torture. <laughs> It's just torture. Did someone take a picture? <clears throat> no. Oh. oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. It was on YouTube for a while. Okay. Oh, really? Under Paul, Paul McKenzie gets his ears nailed to the table. Oh, I'm looking that We up. will be putting that up on all of our social. <laughs> yeah. Stuff. I'm not sure if it's still up there, but okay. it, it was for a while. That's fucking amazing. <laughs> but um, anyway, hey, are you guys into tattoos? Of course. Yeah. Can you see me? Can you see me? No. We can't see you. But no. if you, if you, um, do the little button at the bottom and and put your video on. We can see you. Okay, just a minute. No, I don't have that. Okay. Unfortunately, because it's too bad. Because I just got a wicked tattoo. Ooh. Oh, it took, it, text it, it to me. Take a picture and text it to 12 me. Twelve hours. And then the guy said, "How many sessions do you want?" And I said, "I don't want any sessions. I want to be here or just do it." Jeez. So. Uh, what is it? It's a, a rat with a snake coiled around it. Oh. And it's big. It's Where? big. It's, it's uh, on my whole stomach. Oh, my oh. God. It cost 1500 bucks. That's not bad wow. for 12 hours. Yeah. That's not yeah. so bad. Uh, yeah, I, I just yeah. sat down for one for four hours, and I was like, that's it. I'm tapping out. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 he, he was able but to get it is, done. This one is exquisite. It's really, really well done. Oh, man, nice. we can't wait to see that. Yeah. You definitely text it to yeah. us. Yes, yeah, send I'll us a text. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, Paul, thank you so much for calling in. Everyone out there, please go check out their latest album. Do you call it Beer and Loathing or Bear and Loathing? Well, it's, you know, Hunter S. Thompson's yes. book, Fear and Loathing? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a, it's a play on that. Yeah. So it's Fear and Loathing. All right. Oh, no, it's with Beer and Be- Loathing. Beer and Loathing. <laughs> it's really, really yeah. great. And the song that we played, the Bigfoot song, uh, super catchy. The video mm. is really funny and awesome. Caught yeah. my eye immediately. Yeah. Everyone go out there. Well, you know, that song is a an anti-government song in terms of they're putting a pipeline through. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. An oil pipeline. And, it, you know, if, if it ever ruptured, and it will, it's only a matter of time, it will just destroy e- a e- lot of a lot of pristine forest. Right. I think it. And, I think know, there was one that broke the, in North Dakota recently already. Yeah, after so. they yeah. were fucking. Hey, where are you guys? Mission. Where are you guys? We're in California. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, like Santa Barbara, California, basically, mm-hmm. right yep. outside of it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So uh, I know Santa Barbara. Awesome. Well, if you are on the road and need a place to stay. Let no, we got you guys got for you. sure. <laughs> Definitely, everyone, cool. go out there, support Paul and the McKenzies, the real McKenzies. Thank you, Paul. Yes. Go out there. They, they've got a book You're out. Welcome. We'll uh, we'll get some scotch and beers. And that would be great. Heck yeah. Sounds really good, man. <laughs> well, thank you for calling in, and we'll talk to you right. soon. Thanks. Thank, thank you, Paul. You. All the best. Okay. All right, cheers, Thanks. buddy. Take Take care. Bye. Bye. Since oh, we have God. a moment, let me. They're not a sponsor. But if you want to sponsor us, please reach out. Uh, but Kitty Soros on YouTube, check it out. Oh, okay. Any Lulu fans out there, get back at me. Kitty Soros. Call in. What is, what is that? Uh, what would you think it is? A cat video. Yeah, I mean, a cat apparel. They would like where they like uh, have like costumes for cats or dinosaurs. Believe it's a woman over in Japan who has. I think she now has ten cats in her. Uh, I would think it's her townhouse or apartment. Mm. And okay. she does a lot of videos. I think she's making a, a shit ton of money. Really? Oh, just from her cats? Yeah. Yep. You should start doing that you with know, your crawfish. Say again? You, you should do that with your crawfish. Oh, man. Come on. I can... You make it action packed. Give them little like wardrobe changes, yes. little hats. You just she's draw shit on the outside of the glass. Of crazy, crazy things down the hallway. Uh, there's great sound effects. It's heartwarming. Nice. Okay. <laughs> I'm at, I, I don't have any more at my notes. So uh, I was just buying you time, son. But that that shit is legit. Kitty Soros. Be... Do you think big feet, big foot, big feet? Because that makes them plural. Get athlete's foot. Athlete's foot. Yeah. It's hard to know, man. I mean, 
just as susceptible as any of us. I, I would mean, say probably so. That might be what you're smelling. Mm, Dry yeah. your feet, son. I mean, you're smelling their ass for sure. Mm. Yeah, I don't think apes wipe their ass. Do they wipe their ass? I know they put stuff in it and throw it at you, but like, Courtney, you I are, have no idea. You are in love and <laughs> married to this man. Yeah. And have been with him I for think, almost 20 years. It, yeah. A Bigfoot's going to find a crick. Yeah. Uh, that's true. They're, they're swimming, they're swimmers. Yeah. They just dry themselves off on a big rock or something, hang from their knees from a tree, you know? Wow. Do you think they sleep they in just, trees like Actually, bats? they just cup their junk and then just drag across a nice little rock <laughs> in the river. That's how you clean it. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna, I'm, Happy Bigfoot Day. I know. I feel like I've had enough Bigfoot. I don't ever want to talk about this again. You know, I so can weird. keep going. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us. Uh, where it sounds like nonsense, that was Bigfoot Day. Um that yeah, was. yeah, we talked You're a lot welcome. about it. We didn't get to the bottom of his dick, but I don't think anyone has. Any last thoughts, Jeff? I'm great. Fun time. All more right. Bigfoot. Yeah. Let's go for 20 more minutes. Uh, I'm good with it. Uh, I've had a great time, and I'm very glad that uh, we had some great interviews. And uh, it's unfortunate about the Palmer Andy, but hopefully we'll get him back in later Yeah, I think on. we'll be able to get him in here. Yeah, for sure. I don't think I'm going to say Bigfoot forever, ever again. And I don't think my mom's going to listen to this one either. No. Right. Swap up to Skunk Ape. Go ahead, Court. Well, if you enjoy what you're listening to, share with a friend and also give us a review on Apple. It really helps us out. That's right. Yeah. Don't subscribe. Be shy. Subscribe while you're at it. That's, That's right. right. And uh, please call us with all your paranormal stuff. Let's call in for some more Jeff's advice. Yes. 1 805 697 7070. You can email us at sounds like nonsense at gmail.com. We're on Facebook, Spotify, blah, 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 all that shit. Will. Are you still moving? I am not moving, and that's not... No, oh, I'm not moving. Thank God. Yeah, I'm not moving. I'm here. We don't need two people zooming. It's going to be too hard. No. Oh, that would be weird. Yeah. All right. Exactly. Well, hey, I'm looking forward to next week, you guys. Everyone be safe out there. Stay COVID-free. Wear your fucking Wear your mask. Love you guys. Bigfoot yeah. doesn't exist. Oh, you're such a piece oh, of shit. Dick move. I know. Not the way to end it. <laughs> Deuces.